name is Jazzy Guns. Bang, bang, gang, gang. Let's get back into this game. Master Detective Archives Rain Code. And we are in chapter one. I have no idea what this episode is gonna bring us or what this chapter is gonna bring us because there's no people in the city. So we're gonna have to find out. <laughs> Before I dive on that, make sure if you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Leave a like for your girl, follow me on, follow me on all of my social medias, all that good stuff, and let's begin. <laughs> all right, oh, this is a prologue. WDO versus Amaterasu Corporation. Okay, so I thought it was chapter one, what? <laughs> Cute. There's a place I want to show you. Oh? It's the best spot to learn about this town. Okay. And where is that? Hey, relax. Don't be so nervous. <laughs> he's like, sure. he's like not talking. Hmm. I bet the place he's going to show me is like where all the other like detectives are. Like the, well, I'm not going to say actual, but the ones that live, the detectives that live. Come on, this way. Hmm. All right, don't be scared, Yuma. Come on now, let's go. Hmm. All righty, so you brought me up to the rooftop. Okay, hello, sir. What's going on? <sighs> love the view of the city from here. Okay. No, oh, no. It's like we're always right at the brink of dawn. But okay, so sun never comes out? Or maybe they just work at night. It is nocturnal Although, agency. Thanks to them. The real dawn will never rise here. Never mind. Just got my answer. Never mind. Okay. So they make it dark all the time. You mean I'm a Corporation? Hmm. Kanai Ward is isolated and out of the UG's reach. Now, Amaterasu is the de facto master of the city. Hmm. None who wish to live in peace dare defy them. As long as you know your place, life can be pretty good here. Know my place? Open what does that mean? Open and the rain won't touch you. Wear a raincoat, and you can even take a girl cycling. Hmm. You know what I mean, right? China. Um, are you talking about sex? Like, are we talking... <laughs> I'm like, are we talking about sex? Like, or a raincoat? And you talk about cycling. Like, like if you put on a raincoat and then she could ride you like a board, like a cycle, like a more like a like a bicycle. I don't know. I'm maybe a whatever. A whatever. While back, our detective agency used this building. But we were kicked out due to a contract dispute. Hmm. The owner claimed renting the building out to detectives made the place unpopular. Oh, because people In don't like cops. Ward, detectives aren't even allowed to have their own offices. Oh wow. Really? I don't know what the WTO hmm. is thinking, but I don't want this town to change. Hmm. It should stay the way it is. It deserves some peace and quiet. And that's sure why this does. time around, I don't want any trouble. It's not easy to negotiate with these people. Hmm. Um, I heard that Kanai Ward has a lot of unsolved mysteries. Right. Screams are part of the daily noise around here. Hmm. They're kind of like church bells marking sunset that's not good that's like saying the city is like gotham like that's not good whenever someone's smiling in that building someone else in town is weeping hmm. however we can't go punching the guy who's smiling we can only offer a handkerchief to those in tears before quietly slipping away oh Nothing see i really can't do anything anyway. we're not superheroes or anything we're just detectives. But you can be like superheroes. Just detectives, he says. But he has the resigned smile of someone who's given up. Hmm. That look tells me exactly the kind of place Kanai Ward is. In a way words couldn't begin to describe. Hmm. This bus head dude comes off like an irresponsible geezer. But he There's actually cares. There's an aura around him. You only end up like that if you've seen death all the time. Could I mean, he was born here. City? Yeah. Maybe. Or maybe it's his old man stench. <laughs> oh my gosh. She is she is like a little devil. Something wrong? Is there something on my gorgeous face? No, um, it's cigarette and nicotine, so back no. in the day I was rather popular with the ladies. <laughs> you may think that means I'm no longer so popular. Is it was it before or after you picked up smoking? And you'd be right. Hmm. 
the rain it never stops does it rain often here right oh this stuff fatalists would tell you that all rain must come to a stop mm -hmm. but for the past few years the rain in our town hasn't stopped falling well at least y'all never have to water your grass if you have grass because high key i don't see any but never for mind years yeah years it started around oh three years ago and i bet that's to do with the kanai ward company weird huh thanks to that we have no need for weather forecasts hmm. a city where it's always raining no wonder things are so dark and damp here exactly i was like y'all missing sure some sun things around here both the city and the people too supposedly hmm. there's something in the rain that messes with our bodies and the environment but it's all hearsay oh or no is it like a control device let's up but it probably has something to do with amaterasu okay so amaterasu company must be using the rain as like a control device over the people in the city maybe on i ward it's such a bizarre place hmm. bizarre huh uh, you're not gonna make it here if you find this shocking you'll be seeing a lot of strange things in this city i'll tell you that much oh i know but i will there's no need to overcomplicate things hmm. everything is just an illusion in the rain hmm. just think of it that way and you'll be fine illusion in Trust the rain me, it's easier this way so what are you is talking it? about right it sounds like well, you're trying to avoid the truth I showing you the town let's head to the agency hmm it sounds like he has a lot of dark skeletons he's not trying to reveal it's right now. Nice. There's a lot more to it than I thought. Hmm? What do you mean? Oh, it smells so good here. It's like there's a florist on every corner. Oh my gosh. Uh, I don't see any florists. I think that means something bad. I think what she means is that like there's death around every corner or bad stuff. Because bad stuff is good to her. So that's not a good I sign. I mean it literally. To me... Nothing smells sweeter than despair. Than the stench of death. See, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. I'm knowing Shinny. I'm stench knowing Shinny. Uh huh. Catch up. All over this place. Mm -hmm. it smells so I knew it. I knew it. That sounds so ominous. Mm -hmm. Hey, the elevator's here. Okay, I'm coming. All right. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Can I run faster? I'm trying to run fast. Now then. He's like, come on, let's go down. Yeah. Right. No need to be so nervous. There's nothing dangerous here anyway. Okay. Uh, I'm ready. I don't, what am I waiting for? There's nothing here. <laughs> like, let's go. This area is called Kamasaki District. Kamasaki. It's the busiest and messiest place in all of Ganai Ward. Hmm. In other words, it's a lively area. Okay. I see. I see people finally. That's surprising. Oh, man, magical blurred in the rain. Right. If there really is an illusion in the rain, hmm. I think it'd be the streetlights. I think so. I don't have any memories of this scenery, but it still makes me all nostalgic. Hmm. He might have been here before. A city like this one. Or maybe he has maybe actually been he here. Formed my mind into a shape. It looked like this place. Hmm. Oh, that says battlefield. Is that where we're going? The place that says battlefield. We fighting? Is Weird how it's not flooded, given how it's always raining here. Yeah, where are the sewers? It looks like they have a good drainage system. See, there's a drain leading to a pipe mm. over there. That kind of thing creeps me out. Right. Just imagine what would happen if I got sucked in there. Girl, you'll be fine. You can just fly yourself hey, out. There's a clown in the sewer staring at you. Don't you talk about it. Don't bring Pennywise vibes over clown. here. I don't want that. <laughs> She's shot. Uh uh. She's trying to make Pennywise come. I'm not. I'm not messing with that, Shinny. Oh, okay. What's going on? I explained briefly, but basically, Amaterasu Corp picks on detectives. Oh, so that's how you travel underground? My colleagues and hired assistants all quit. They said working here as a detective was simply impossible. Because they kept getting bullied and harassed. So you've been working as the only detective for the whole city ever since? Hmm. It's not like I can change careers. I'm a WDO detective, after all. Hmm. And Clients it's said indefinitely. Job. Although, most of my requests involve infidelity or finding mm. lost pets. Finding cheaters. Well, what about unsolved mysteries? The peacekeepers get to handle that. Detectives... Okay, why you stop walking? Close. Oh. Interesting. Okay. But now, things could be different since you're all here. Okay. Huh? You're all? 
Right, I was about to say, can you see Shinny? Um, why'd you stop? Do you want me to continue on my own or what's going on? Somebody gonna come out and attack me? I guess he just wants me to go on alone and see who's down here at the end of the time. Who's down, who is down here? Sir, are you coming? Where are we going, sir? Where are we going? Oh, bro, you just stopped and I, you just want me to get behind you. Oh my God. Oh my goodness gracious. You got ego on you, huh? <laughs> like what? Okay. Yeah, we got a feeling things will be a bit stuffy moving forward. What do you mean? Why? Why would it be stuffy? Okay, even darker subway. Okay. Not subway, uh, sewer. <laughs> My bad. Um, is your agency up ahead? Right. Like I said earlier, detectives aren't allowed to work in a proper office in Connor Ward. So our offices are in the sewer? <sighs> Must we travel this nauseating path? I'm too blue blooded for this. Right. The other master detectives are already waiting at the agency. Oh. You're the last to join us. As usual, this is the second time. Other okay. Master detectives. But everyone on the train died. On that train. Thanks died. to that hitman hired by Amateur Rasu. Yep. The WDO anticipated interference. They prepared multiple routes for entry into Kanai Ward. Mm-hmm. They covered their bases. Other but now that I think about it, the people that died, I feel the like their powers must might have been like Both official and unofficial lower. members travel through these various routes. They might have been lower than the ones that are actually alive so here. It wasn't just the Amaterasu Express. Hmm. Amaterasu Corporation caught on and tried to interfere on all the routes. Oh wow. Granted, they deny any involvement. Uh, of course they do. Some routes were completely stamped out. Mm -hmm. Yours barely made it. Wow. That tragedy happened to others too. So they all died to other ones. You, there are four others who survived. Unfortunately, hmm. a lot of sacrifices were made. Mm. But as a result, you could say master detectives of the highest caliber have been gathered here. Well, survival of the fittest made it? Each of you did outsmart Amaterasu and made it here after all. Hmm. The highest caliber? Hearing Master get complimented really annoys me. Why? Why can't I be praised? I wonder what these surviving master detectives are like. So exciting, so mysterious. Hmm. I just wonder when we're gonna get to a door. Like we just we just walking around in dirty sewer water for a while. Alright, here we go. Oh. Here we are. Hmm. Okay, so. This is our, don't tell me we out here like, we some hobos. This is um, it? Where's the agency? <laughs> right. It's right here. So I'm living like a hobo. Right. Remember this, Yuma. The most important things cannot be seen by the eye. Okay. Hmm. Okay, there it is. Okay, stop playing with me. I was about to say, I know y'all didn't just recruit me and I went through a whole death train just to get to a bunch of crates. Like, no. Okay, so we're on a submachine. Submarine! Oh my god! <laughs> I'm dumb! Okay, let's go. Let's get on. I'm ready. This is the agency? Hmm. I thought my eyes were gonna pop out. All right, let's keep going. Welcome to the Nocturnal Detective Agency. Hmm. What, you expected something a bit tidier? I guess I wouldn't call this place clean myself. Yeah, Isn't that's what awesome? I was barely expecting. Our own submarine. Is hmm. this really it? Our office is a sub? Yes, it's kind of cool though. <laughs> You've been assigned to a of a detective agency. Oh, that don't sound like a good thing. Like, it doesn't. Everything that they're, like, hiding from me, it keeps feeling like I'm, like, a new employee that's going to, like, a new job and being like, oh, I'm ready for the first day. Is it gonna be great? And, like, your employees are and co-workers are trying to, like, make it seem like it's better than what it is, and then you realize that it's shit later. Like, <laughs> that's how I feel right now. I like his pants, so I like the little skull on there. Hmm. 
All right. Okay, we got three people there. Hmm. Okay, he's is that another smoker? Do all of y'all smoke? Okay, and she likes candy. You like to read. Okay, that's probably the introvert in there. Hmm. Okay. Thanks for waiting, everyone. Our final new member has arrived at last. Okay, I'm the last Watch one again. It. Just come barging in here. Uh, did I barge? Did he knock? Well, what are you talking about? This is my detective agency, isn't it? Right. Victory is mine. Pam. Oh? But hold on. That doesn't <laughs> count. That was an accident thanks to the chief barging in here. Oh, don't blame him for your Nonsense. skills. You should have expected him to return from his errand. Mm-hmm. Moreover... You should have realized he was back when our submarine resurfaced. Yep. Yeah. When you put it like that. How old is this kid? Is he younger than me or is he the same age as me? With my logic, anything is possible. Okay, she looks like a grown up Chiaki, like the ultimate gamer, but like with glasses. That looks like Chiaki grown up. That's kind of cute. Um, what are they fighting about? Hmm, what gambling. What are you doing with those matches? No fire is allowed on my sub. But you, you smoking a cigarette. It's just a little game. Hmm. He strikes the matches one by one. He wins if he lights ten in a row. Hmm. But if he fails even once, I win. Oh, that was the and game. And he failed. Thus, I get all the cash. Hey, Haiki might be Chiaki because she's playing games on him and she's winning. <laughs> Hang on, it was lit. The chief opened the door which blew it out. Oh, please. I succeeded in lighting it. So the game continues. Hmm. The Next is the seventh, right? Hey, hmm. ref, how many matches was it? Uh, you can check by counting the number of chocolates on the table. Oh. Sure thing. Uh, hmm. one. Oh, God. Two. Three. Are you eating them, girl? Hey, don't eat those. Right. <laughs> how many are we missing now? Two or three? Come mm -hmm. on, princess. How many did you eat? Uh, two or three. Uh, what comes after three? And she's supposed to be a detective working I with us? I never remember since I so rarely count that high. Go, what? Please give me just a moment to recall it. That's high? Counting, counting to three is high? <sighs> it's all ruined. I love how the one inside the fireplace is matchsticks you've used instead. Hello, let's do let's think. But I like how like the one that's in the fireplace is just chilling after all this is happening. He's like, they can have that. Oh right. Uh, I'll just count the matchsticks in the ashtray. Are y'all really detectives? Why the hell are there so many? Did I just say no open flames are allowed in here? <laughs> it's harder to quit than you think. Right, I'm like he smoked, so. Uh huh. I remember the number four comes after three. So the answer is four. Congratulations, I'm very proud of you. Huh? But there is still a chocolate missing. Hang on, there were more than four to begin with. Did you eat another one? Oh my god. <laughs> You're eating it right now. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> it is too delicious. So this is what commoners eat. Interesting. Commoners? Is she a princess? What is this? <sighs> It is simply heavenly. Anyway, mm. time to pay up. Mm -hmm. She's like, give me my money. I'm using my authority as chief to end this game. And no more gambling. They gonna do it again. Understand you're in con, I ward? Don't give the peacekeepers any reasons to drop in on us. How they gonna know what y'all doing in a sub? Virtue, honesty, and staying the hell out of trouble. That's our motto here at Nocturnal Detective Agency. Got it? Okay. Now then, I'd like to introduce you to our final team member. Yuma, Coco Head. <laughs> A round of applause, please. They probably gonna look at me up and down. Nice to meet you all. I was hoping they'd be amazing detectives, but they all look kind of dumb. Yeah, but I feel like that's to hide something. Which I don't know. Them will die first. Him or maybe you think they're all gonna die, Shinny? Oh my god. They managed to get past Amaterasu's attacks. I'm sure they're all amazing. Hmm. Yuma? Let me introduce everyone to you. Okay, so let's see. First, the one sitting over there is Halara Nightmare. Oh, a Nightmare. great master detective. The first to arrive at Kamala. Halara. Okay. Halara Nightmare. 
I like the look. It's giving me Chiaki vibes. It is. It is. Batch boy over there is <laughs> Desuhiko Thunderbolt. Desuhiko. Hmm. Wait, who's the match boy? You. Okay. Catch on. Desuhiko. I, I'm gonna call you De he I'm gonna call you little Thunder. Thunderbolt. I'm just gonna call him Thunderbolt. His, his first name kind of hard for me to say. <laughs> the beautiful lady next to him is Fubuki Clockford. Hmm. She is the heiress of the famous Clockford family. Oh, okay. So she's like a Paris Hilton. Okay. Pleasure to meet you. Okay. So that's why she called me commoners, because she's rich. Okay, got it. <laughs> just flex on our broke asses. And the one inside the fireplace? That didn't speak. What? Fireplace? Yeah. But why there of all places? I mean, it's not on. He says it's calming in there. Anyway, his name is Vivia Twilight. Ah, hello. Hey, nice to meet you. Oh, I like his voice. His voice is kind of nice. Huh, oh, like a nice little brooding character, huh? <laughs> right. Now that we're all here. Okay. Let's have a seat. Why does he walk like he walk like a little a little weird? <laughs> okay, I guess that's my seat. I'm right here. Hmm. Yeah, I will, but let me see if I can talk to them. So you're the survivor from the Amaterasu Express massacre. Mm-hmm. You don't look like much. Oh, thank you. Thanks to yours, Charlie. <laughs> Otherwise, Master would have died right away. <laughs> hmm. Damn, you wanna say something back? Everyone on the train died besides you? <laughs> Sucks. It does had suck. I've been on the Amaterasu Express. I would have solved it before anything had gone down. So you can even catch. Yeah. Couldn't even count the match. Chance it. to show off my superstar self. Okay. His short stack is so arrogant. Right. I hate his guts. I see that he's gonna be a little cocky. Okay. Yuma, do you like chocolate? Yes, I do. Yeah, a bit. Hmm. Did you know that chocolate grows on cacao trees? Yes, I do. The sight of all those trees with their shining silver fruit must be so splendid. Hmm. I think the silver part is just the wrapper. Right. I'm like, huh? does it not grow on the tree like this? Girl, I don't know how she made it into this. Who does she pay? Ah, I see. I thought I was peeling back its silvery husk. No, girl. <laughs> what a misunderstanding to make for an adventurer such as myself. Were you trapped in like inside the whole time you had to read books adventurer? or something hmm correct i am an adventurer and a detective okay it's nice to make your acquaintance nice to meet you too hmm okay so she's an adventurer what about you you purposely came over to talk to me you're so kind yuma is his voice actor like the same as kakashi from naruto and is that why i find his voice hot Cause it sounds very similar to that. Don't worry, they aren't avoiding me or anything. Hmm. I prefer to be alone. Hmm. A place like this gives me a sense of peace and quiet. I get it. I get it. Uh, I want to die someday. Okay, I don't get that part. I need. We need to talk. We need to talk and make sure that you're good. Cause what? I have no <laughs> idea what to say to him. He just he just trauma dumped when we um when we talk to him for the first time okay Whoa. so we gotta figure that out let me just go ahead and sit down because that was that was a bit now all remaining agents sent to the nocturnal detective agency are here mm -hmm. now, there are a lot less of you than what we originally planned mm -hmm. well regardless of how many people we would have gotten we'd still be no match against the peacekeepers numbers I man i'm so, not worried about them we'll keep laying low down here and avoid provoking them as we've been doing Hmm. Huh? You want to stay submerged in this filthy river? I didn't come here to rot like sewage. Hello. I want to make a grand entrance, solve all unsolved mysteries, mm -hmm. and become a superstar detective. Oh, he might want fame out oh, of this too. And once I'm rich and famous, how do I I'll make you all my assistants. How do I know, y'all? How do I know, man? I be, I be seeing it. I'm, I'm seeing it. In Kanai Ward, solving cases won't make you famous. You got in the wrong uh, is controlled by the career. Peacekeepers. They simply conceal anything that's inconvenient to them. Like the train. If you want to be famous in this town, it's much easier if you're a villain. Mm. I see. Got it. So you gonna do that? But don't actually do right. it. Don't instigate anything with those guys. Got it? Hmm. <laughs> 
I'm just kidding around. Why is okay. the WDO gathering master detectives in Kanai Ward? What do they want us to do? Right. Honestly, I don't know what the WDO is thinking either. I just found out about this recently myself. Hmm. You didn't receive any instructions? They just told you what to do. at least. I'm hoping they'll call us eventually. Hmm. But before that, there's something I need to verify first. Yes. Yuma, it's about you. I bet he's wondering, like, what my power is. Because every all the other detectives knew their secret forte. But I don't know my forte, so. Huh? But I feel like I know what it is. Like, he can detect fortes. I heard the peacekeepers talking and learned about it back then, but. Hmm. Do you really have amnesia? Huh? Yes. Yeah, seems like I do. Mm -hmm. I don't remember anything from before getting on the Amaterasu Express. Hmm. Ah, then you and I are alike. Oh? We are amnesia buddies, Yuma. Are we? Huh? Fubuki, you too? Right. Indeed. I cannot remember what I had for breakfast. I cannot even recall how I got here. Uh, we just have short-term memory. I think you're just forgetful. Right. Don't make things even more complicated. <laughs> apologies. Yeah, girl, like, what let's just spit that out. of your amnesia? Is Amaterasu Corporation responsible? Maybe. No, uh, it doesn't seem likely. I was still at the station when I woke up. Hmm. So you really don't remember anything. I'm surprised you got past Amaterasu's attacks like that. Hey, they stopped my memory, not my skills. Hey. <laughs> I can't tell him it's thanks to the pact I made with a death god. Mm -hmm. You better not. Talking about me breaks the contract. I know. I think I was just lucky. The chief saved me in the end. Well, you can work off your debt to me. Oh? So you really don't know who you are? No. In other words, you don't remember if you're a detective? Again, I have amnesia. I don't know how many times I gotta say this. <laughs> like... That's cool. Oh, but I do have a letter from the WDO. And this outfit is definitely mine because it fits perfectly. Mm -hmm. I don't doubt you. That's not what I'm worried about. I've already verified your identity. Oh. Huh? You know who I am? Well, he did I say my name. I daydream in the park and feed pigeons while y'all were heading here. Right. <laughs> I checked the routes everyone used and provided support wherever I could. Hmm. Unfortunately, most of the info was kept secret, so supporting you was all I could do. Hmm. At the very least, I did manage to obtain info about the Amaterasu Express. Okay. Then again, it was mostly thanks to Halara and Tezuhiko since they arrived so early. Uh -huh. I Thank got you. The passenger list from Amaterasu Corporation using my special forte. And what's your forte? That ability is top secret, so uh, I'm not gonna tell you about it just yet. Hmm. Your name was on the passenger list, Yuma. Thank Once you. Once you knew your name, obtaining more information was easy. I researched the histories of everyone on the list. This mm -hmm. doesn't sound like something you need to hear. What? Of hmm. course it is. I might finally get to learn about my past. Right. Mm -hmm. You don't want him to learn about it, Shinny? The truth might surprise you, but among the master detectives registered at the WDO, no individual with the name Yuma Cocohead exists. So is that a fake what name? Do you mean? Five master detectives were summoned to the Amaterasu Express. That is an undisputable fact. Hmm. But a detective in training was also summoned. Oh, detective so that might be me. In training? Hmm. That's you, Yuma. Mm. Looks like you you may be part of the organization, but you haven't earned your stripes just yet. Oh wow. So, so I'm a trainee. I'm not really a master detective yet? Mm. <laughs> That's just not right. You never fail to amuse me, Master. I mean he was lost a lot Despite of the times. I know for sure you'll be an integral part of our team. Mm -hmm. I reviewed your profile in the WDO records, and it turns out you have a phenomenal ability. Which is detecting other fortes? An ability? So I do have some sort of special power too? Yes, you do. Your record claims that you're a great cook. Would you mind making us breakfast from now on? Sir, I know y'all are not having me on chef duty. Okay, I'm already basically like an apprentice. Don't do that. Don't make me get your coffee. No. You're like his maid. Right, I'm like, no. I don't know if I can. I don't have any memories about cooking. I can cook though. <laughs> Never mind. Did my profile, like where I used to live, or my personal history? Probably it not. didn't have any details of the sort. Hmm. You see, you've got a trainee's profile, not a proper master detective. Oh, so they don't really care about trainees I yet. See. You know, hmm. trainees are kind of like appetizers at a restaurant, don't you think? Yeah. I guess that makes you the appetizer detective. 
Okay, you're making it seem like I could be a sacrifice, Jenny, and I don't like that. So. I'll do my best to train you from the ground up to be a great detective. Hmm. What's wrong? There's nothing to feel ashamed about. Everyone starts off as a trainee. But they don't get respect. So, not everyone can use their forte from the get-go. Hmm. Though some are born rather gifted. Hmm. Still, no matter how much talent you have, you require the right training to make the most use of your ability. No matter how smart they are or how dexterous their fingers, mm -hmm. no surgeon dives straight into surgery. That is true. They gotta the train. The same goes for master detectives. If you want to do things the right way, you have to learn it. Okay. So everyone here also trained at the World Detective Organization? Hmm. The WDO requires a two-year training period Sheesh. for all agents. No exceptions. I mean, I guess that makes sense because they're During dealing with... Time, the agent's a lot of paranormal stuff. disposition is honed into a forensic forte, specializing in investigation. Hmm. And those who manage to develop their forte are certified as master detectives. So I didn't develop mine yet. Plus, once you become a master detective, you get a detective deed from the WDO. And that's what they were talking about before. By the way, not all detectives working for the WDO are master detectives. Hmm. There are regular detectives, like myself, who don't have fortes. Oh, you just have to gift the gab, huh? Oh, really? I still got my detective deed. It doesn't say master detective on it, but hmm. it still holds the same weight. That means that you are good in your own right. That's how A I see it. A forte mostly depends on innate talent. Some people will never develop it. No matter how much effort they put in. Hmm. But that doesn't mean they can't be a detective. Mm -hmm. Anyone can get a detective deed as long as they complete their training. As long as they're good enough, so yep. is that my case as well? I don't think I have any special abilities. You do, but... There is no record about your forte. Hmm. You could be like me and have no special powers. Nah, they're trying to, they trying to deku him. They're trying to do that. No, but he has something. He has something. I knew it. Who cares about that? You've got me, master. <laughs> There's no need to be so down about having no forte of your own. Right. That has nothing to do with whether you're a good detective or not. Thank you. Even a kid or a delinquent can be a master detective if they're good at one thing. Mm -hmm. But detectives with no special abilities must pass basic testing with flying colors before they're certified. So, okay, there we fact, go. You could say those without special abilities make better detectives. That's what I'm saying. You don't even have a special ability to give you like an advantage. Like you're working like from grassroots. Like I feel like that's not better, but it's more impressive. Oh, you're just tooting your own horn, old man. <laughs> but being both a capable detective and a master detective would be even better. It would help more, yes. Such as myself. You're tooting your own horn too. <laughs> yeah, anyway, whether you have an ability or not, the fact remains that you've been striving to be a detective. Right. So, I wanted to be a detective. Mm -hmm. Also, keep in mind that despite being a trainee, you were given a directive. Hmm. That's pretty impressive. You must be quite capable. Oh, I you am. Master detectives were killed, but you managed to survive. Yeah, but they can hold I me down. I'm not sure if that's right. I am hmm. sure you shall eventually remember all that you had forgotten, Yuma. Thank Although, you. I still do not remember what I ate this morning, let alone yesterday's weather. Okay, we're not gonna it go back raining. to that. It's always raining. Right. Oh, right. Is she this dumb? Oh, right. <laughs> I think she's putting on an act. Right, I'm like, you can't be this stupid, girl. She's Come a on. Giant skank. It's boom kill time if you fall for her, master. Oh, not you getting jealous, Jenny. Do anything. Right. By the way. My agency treats both trainees and detectives as the same thing. Okay. All you master detectives, you better not drop your guard or the rookie here is going to steal your thunder. Got it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Go ahead and try. Oh, I will. Too bad for you, rookie. I'm going to take all the medals. Okay, I Mr. Mask Boy. I, I know that's right, Nightmare. <laughs> you senior detectives sure are a handful. Ain't no reason to compete when they can't compare, okay? I get it. Video. I get it. Anything you'd like to say to the newbie? Hmm. Mm, no. Not really. Yeah, I guess not. That's fine. I'm not taking it personal. A call? Hmm. That's the direct line to the World Detective Organization. So, they're finally contacting they're us. They're waiting for me to get All there. All communication in Kanai Ward is shut out from the outside world. So that phone is rather special. Hmm. And obviously, it's kept secret from the Amaterasu folk. Of course. If they're contacting us. 
Maybe they'll finally give us our order. Y'all gonna pick it up then? Go ahead, rookie. Right. <laughs> huh? You want me to answer? Hmm. All right, let's go answer it. Master. Hmm. Um. Hello. Hello. Oh I'm my God. The detective agency. Please state your business. Good hmm. work, all of you. I assume everyone is present. He looks like he should have been dead a long time ago. <laughs> like his skin is not even of color anymore. It's just gray. Like. So few of you survived. Far less than I anticipated, but considering who survived, this should suffice. Mm -hmm. What the hell? Who's this grandpa? Right. He acts like he's hot shit. Hmm. What beats me? I've never seen him before. My contact is usually someone totally Okay, so different. who is this? Perhaps he dialed the wrong number? Hmm. No, uh, that's impossible. This is a direct line to the WDO. Hmm. Um... Who are you? Right. Would you mind telling us your name? A name? Uh huh. Unfortunately, I discarded my name long ago. Oh lord, now, here we go. I simply go by number one. Mm. I'm sure you've heard of me. Were you a clone? So his name is just number one. I'm just assuming he's a clone because he don't have look like a human. Like he does not look like a person. <laughs> number one? Yo, oh, you heard of him? Seriously? Oh, y'all uh, heard of him. My sincerest apologies for my rude behavior. Oh. I didn't expect number one himself to appear. This must be very serious business then. So who is this? Is he a big deal or something? Right. Number one is the top master detective. Leader of the World Detective Organization. Oh, okay. Top detective of the WDO? Hmm. He rarely ever shows himself. Thus, no one knows his true identity. So he must trust us. He's huh? only known among detectives as. Hmm. He's the top of the World Detective Organization. He looks like he's been alive for quite a bit. He's just some old man. Hmm. Hey. I am here to give those of you who arrived your instructions. Hmm. There is a dangerous secret lurking here, which okay. we refer to as Kanai Ward's ultimate secret. Hmm. Kanai Ward's ultimate secret? You sound like dinging around for the ultimate, ultimate. <laughs> However, Kanai Ward's ultimate secret isn't a problem affecting only this city. There is a chance it relates to the ongoing great global mystery. Hmm. Hence why I chose to deliver your orders directly. Okay. Move swiftly to investigate Kanai Ward's ultimate secret. Doing so will assist us in solving the great global mystery. Hmm. That is all. Huh? Okay. That's it? Uh, how about some clues? Right, like where do we go? Why do you think you're there? Oh. If you're a detective, search for clues yourself. Okay, but you can point me in the right direction. Information beforehand will merely result in misconceptions. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, understood. I guess so. Do Whatever. Do you recall the World Detective Organization's creed? No. A detective must never overlook a mystery. Any and all truths must be exposed. Hmm. A detective must always prioritize solving a case. Emotions okay. must be discarded to reach a perfect solution through a perfect deduction. I heard mm -hmm. that every single day during training. But it's not something you can easily put into practice. Right. True, Master? I don't remember it. I have amnesia, everybody. I don't know how many times I gotta say it. Mysteries are the greatest threat to humanity. Hmm. The WDO will not allow mysteries to go unsolved. They shall be eradicated with sagacious wit and indomitable will. Oh, sagacious. I've never heard that term before. We must before. guide the lost souls of victims to paradise in the name of truth. Go forth, proud detectives. Mm -hmm. Eliminate all mysteries from this world. Okay, Grandpa. I will. I'm gonna call him Pop Pop. I'm gonna call him Pop Pop. Oh. Hey, did you hear that? We got a direct order from number one. Hmm. We play our cards right. We're guaranteed to get promoted. <laughs> I'm hyped. At least he's passionate about what he does. It isn't so simple. Just look at how much we sacrificed to get you here. Mm -hmm. Kanai Ward's ultimate secret must have something to do with Amaterasu Corporation. Hmm. Which means we have to snoop on them. They're gonna wipe us out. Oh, they ain't wiping me out. So it's a full-on war then. Hmm. The WDO is serious. Mm hmm War is awful. I myself am a pacifist. I bet you are. Well, it's something we have to do from here on. Hmm. There you go again with your joke. I don't think he's joking, baby. Fubuki. Were you listening? Right. Uh huh? I was. However, I was also lost in my own thoughts. Okay, we gotta not pay attention to her. You weren't listening then. Right. So, Chief, 
Any ideas about Kanai Ward's ultimate secret? Hmm. This place has so many secrets that I have no idea where to start. But and we one don't thing either. Comes to mind is this unending rain. I think. I think that that was from Amaterasu. He said that it has something to do with the great global mystery too. I have hmm. no clue what that is. Well, for now, let's sneak into Amaterasu Corp and start gathering up info. How are we gonna do that? Don't you dare do anything dangerous like that. It's not like they're leaving secrets in easy to reach spots. Or they can use their fortes. Then what are we supposed to do? You really want to know? The right thing to do is absolutely nothing. Oh, we're not doing that. Jeez. How did it end up like this? Hmm. Come on. You need to snap out of it, Chief. Right. I've got a bad feeling about all this. Who would have guessed number one would show up? Mm. Ah, all I wanted was to sink quietly into the river. Did you not want to do any work and like lie low? Why? Are things really that bad? Right. Yeah, lives are at stake here. Hmm. Danger is a daily occurrence in all of Kanai Ward. I'm used to wagering my life like poker chips. It feels like my path. Uh huh. Maybe for you, you like but gambling. I'm not that way. Who said I wanted that? <laughs> I got it. Let's pretend like we didn't hear a thing. Look, y'all didn't drag me in the sub to do no. nothing. Okay. I know that's impossible. <laughs> Given the sacrifices that were already made, the WDO can't back down. Yeah, now. I don't think so. Oh, I guess we have no choice. Mm -hmm. Chief Yako. Everything that goes down in this city is handled by the peacekeepers of Amaterasu Corporation. I don't care about them. They simply fabricate or cover things up in whatever way's most convenient for them. In other words. The truth they're hiding hmm. may be connected to some of hmm. these cover ups, may be clues for unsolved mysteries. Then, right, there are tons of cases where they covered up the truth. Then, what we need to do is clear, right? Uh -huh. We need to stop them, me dumbfounded rookie. We've got to crush each unsolved mystery one by one. I like that he's, I like little thunder. Little thunder is a little lightning bolt. What should I call him? Little thunder, little lightning bolt. I don't know, but I like his passion. Truth be told, I wish this day had never come. Why? But part of me knew that it was inevitable. Hmm. Our goal now is to expose Kanai Ward's ultimate secret. Hmm. We'll be up against Amaterasu Corporation. Okay. So please, be extremely careful. We don't know what these guys will do to interfere with us. I'm not worried about that. That said, you all survived the deadly trip to get here, so I'm sure you're up to the challenge. Yes, I am. We've been trapped in this rain for a long time now. Mm-hmm. But it's time to put an end to that. Mm. Please, help me save this city. Okay. You are him, master. I love it. Things are getting interesting. Man, I'm ready to solve a mystery, Lan. Let's do it. <laughs> What's wrong, Yuma? Hmm. In the unending rain. Mm hmm. Through the winding neon cityscape. Draped in my raincoat. <laughs> I, I love how he's just reading. My missing memories. And he's just tired. He's scared of something. What secrets lurk in this labyrinth of Oh, they're being up there, poor man. Oh, and I guess that's Amaterasu people I gotta we face. Have yet to find the answer. Hmm. Who are these the story people? Story of detectives facing oh. the darkness that enshrouds the truth. Hmm. Is about to begin. Let's go. I'm with it. Let's get it. Oh. Okay, we got the intro music today. Okay. Mm -hmm. Their music is so similar to Dang and Rumpa. Uh huh. Miss Nightmare, Little Thunder, Fubu. I'm gonna call it Fubu. I'm gonna call that one Twilight. Hmm. I'm gonna call you Smoker. <laughs> oh. And who is this girl? Hmm. Okay, those are the peacekeepers that we gotta fight off. 
Are those the lost and found robots? Uh-huh. Get the keys to the truth. Let's get it! Let's get it! Mm-hmm. Let's go! Oh, who's that? Oh, Electro, Hell Smile, Kaga Suit. I don't know. I can say that one. <laughs> Oh. Hmm. Let's get it. I like that intro. That was nice. That was nice. I like it. Faint hmm. sound of a ticking clock. Hmm. Melts against the sound of rain. Mm hmm. This seems like a little horse uh, thing. Is that the timbre of water splashing a ship in the night? Hmm. Or is it the sound of a wedge driven into the wheel of fate? Oh my god. Is somebody playing with voodoo dolls out here? Oh my the god! The vault's door closes. I search again for a reason to open it. Hmm. Somebody got nailed to the floor? Oh my goodness. Wow, the nail man killings. That's crazy. So there's a serial killer out here. Just nailing people to the ground, to the floorboards. <sighs> Got some nice sleep. Mm -hmm. <sighs> no one's here yet. It's just about time, I think. Everybody slept in. To be fair, their time are rarely on time anyway. Mm -hmm. Master detectives are all weirdos. I don't know. I'm somebody that hates being late. I don't know if anybody has that like quirk about them, but I just hate being late. It gives me anxiety. I don't know. Did you get a good night's sleep, Yuma? Uh, doesn't look like it. Not really. <laughs> what? But I gave you time to rest at the office. Your brain won't work right without enough sleep. Be more like me. Oh. Even today, my mind and sleep is all the time? clear. Although it doesn't get much use. <laughs> huh. Huh. To think that Master had to sleep on such a filthy sofa. Yes, I did. The other Master detectives are staying at a hotel, right? That's no Wait, fair. what? I'm totally jealous. They didn't sleep on a sub like me? What's oh, up? discrimination. They said detectives and trainees would be treated equally. I'm getting the intern treatment right now. For now, how about you wash your sleepy face? Hmm. You can't work as a detective when your mind is hazy. Okay. But y'all couldn't give me a bed? Like, y'all got them all in the hotel and I'm the one that's sleeping on the couch? Okay, whatever. Let me just, let me look around. Let me see. Let me see. Let me look. Okay, let me look at this map. This is... This looks like a map of Kanai Ward. The memos posted on it seem to be from cases of chief work. Searching for stray cats, lost property, and a whole bunch of unimportant stuff. There doesn't seem to be any new memos. Has he not taken on any cases lately? Okay, so he hasn't taken on any cases as of late. So let's see. I see. Physics, forensics, accounting, encyclopedias. There's a lot of heavy reading. Don't be so sure. Maybe he just put fancy dust jackets on raunchy magazines. <laughs> no way, I think. I think that's for Twilight, because Twilight actually reads. So I think that that's all him. Huh. Let me see. Let me go talk to him. If you want to wash your face, use the tap in the kitchen. Okay, so I gotta use tap water. I can even use filter water. Um, can I go in here? What's in here? What's going on here? Okay, oh. Oh, oh, but you get a bed. Okay. Uh, <laughs> this is the chief's bed. Master gets the sofa while Fuzzhead gets the bed. How is that fair? He said, well, it's the chief's agency, so I guess that makes sense for him to sleep in a bed. Hmm. Right. I'm like, he get a bed, but I got to sleep on a couch? Okay. Oh, wait. No, no, no. I can't go up there. I can't go up there. Okay, okay. So that's the riverbank. Let me go over here. Let me see. Okay, this is the kitchen. Okay. And what is this? That's a shower room. Wow. Even the shower is fully equipped. The submarine is incredible. Master. Why don't you go wash up first? Oh, I don't need a shower right now. Oh, it's a geez, way to kill the mood. Girl, uh -huh. you trying to see me naked? What are you talking about? Okay, she's trying to get some, uh, she's trying to see my ass. <laughs> <sighs> he said I can't work as a detective if my mind is hazy. Hmm. Why do I want to become one in the first place? Right. It's not like I have any special powers. Hmm. Is there a reason why? Maybe in your past. Even if there was. Right now, I have no reason to try being a detective. Hmm. I'm only pretending to be one to regain my memories. Is it right for me to pursue this if that's my goal? 
Um, there you go with that dumb poetic stuff again. Right, I don't think his past self because I'm because he can't remember it, but I don't think his past self would make him go through all this training and stuff for nothing. So I'm pretty sure it's for a reason. It's not dumb. This is important to me. Hmm. <sighs> you better be careful. Or what? Whenever a detective sighs, a murder case occurs. Really? Like it wouldn't happen otherwise. Right. I wish that was the case. Wait a minute, Yuma. Hmm? You're good at cooking, right? Can you make something for me? Man, you hungry? What's, huh? what's up? Right. Come on, man. I'm starving. I'm starving too. How about y'all cook me Maybe some? You can do some expert cooking. It might rekindle your lost memories or some. Uh, oh please. Right. You just want me to it's cook. Breakfast. Thanks. You just want me to cook. Just, just say that. Wait, Chief. What should I do? Give it a shot. Maybe hmm. your muscles will remember. Huh? Huh? Muscle memory. Okay. All right, so let's see what I can chef up. Oh, look at him. He is chefing it up. He said, no, I don't know if I can cook. Next thing, he... <laughs> All right, done. Let's okay. Take Chief Yako. That looks good. All right, let's oh, take this over. This is looking pretty good. Right. I like it. I hope. Hmm. Chief, breakfast is ready. Okay. Hey, it smells nice. Let's see. Hmm. Oh. What is that? Not you throwing up for my food! Oh my god! I'm sorry! I hope he isn't bad. Not me causing the first death in this game for my cooking. Uh Chief, are you alright? Right. I'm sorry, I didn't know. I got amnesia. <laughs> I thought I was a goner. Did you poison me? No! Why would I do that? I can't believe you'd say that after all the trouble I went through making it. Right. Oh, right. I basically forced you to make it. Sorry. Can I taste it? Yuma, can you clean this up? Uh. Oh, that went about as well as I expected. Damn, I can't even cook right. <laughs> Master, if you ever want to boom kill someone, you should just cook for them. That's wild. I think it'd be the perfect crime. That's wild. Did my profile say I was good at cooking. Hmm, maybe they're trying to set him up and poison everybody. Forget about the cooking, you <laughs> Yeah, at least until you get your memories back. Is it until you figure out how to cook again? Don't touch it. <laughs> yeah, I figured. Yesterday was such a surprise. I never thought there would be a directive from number one. Hmm. To investigate Kanai Ward's ultimate secret. Right. Uh, but it's dangerous. Amaterasu Corp won't sit idly by and let it happen. Hmm. It's big trouble, all right. Look, I'm not saying I've been idle up until now. Uh huh. I tried investigating Amaterasu several times regarding some unsolved mysteries. Hmm. They get pissed, and I get a lecture bordering on torture. Oh. They even confiscated my office. And, well, here I am now. Wow. Why didn't the World Detective Organization help you? Right. I asked a few times, but they always waved me off. Turns out there were other cases which were higher priorities. Oh, so they said, forget him. Besides, him. ever since Kanai Ward became isolated from the world, we haven't been able to exchange much info. Hmm. They didn't quite get how bad the place has gotten. Hmm. But what made them investigate Kanai Ward to begin with? Right. The great global mystery must be a huge deal. So Even what is it though? Is getting involved. Hey, isn't number one coming here? Hmm. I thought he was at the WDO's headquarters. <laughs> You'd think I'd know? You number might. one is being hunted by criminal syndicates all over the world. His location is kept top secret. Oh, because he put them in jail. That's Got why it. he almost never shows up in public. It's super rare even to glimpse him on a screen. Hmm. If he's that amazing, that's all the more reason he should come here. Yeah, fair enough. I'm sure that number one could solve this lickety split. Nah, he wants us to do it. The he's too old. say that once he decides to solve a case, he'll do everything perfectly on his own until it's solved. Hmm. Perfectly on his own? He didn't seem all that impressive to me. I mean, anyway, he's he got really his hands do much full on McCall. another case right now. He won't be able to leave that behind to visit Kanai Ward. Hmm. We'll save our trump card for last. Until then. We'll add a few cards to our hand. Meaning? That's why you all were called here. Okay. Wait, where are the others? Ah, at this rate, we'll never have enough hands. They busy sleeping in a comfy bed. Jeez, everyone goes and does their own thing all the time. Mm -hmm. How about using a cell phone? Even if you can't contact the outside world, it'd still be useful in times like these. Right, let's get with technology. Yeah, no good. 
risks the peacekeepers wiretapping you. Never mind. Okay. Okay, Yuma, you're getting your first job. Hmm. Just get the other detectives assembled. Oh, that's. I rented my... out a special room at a hotel in Kamasaki District. My guess is that hmm. they still haven't left the hotel yet. Each master detective is quirky in their own way. But they all share the same quirk of being late. Okay. Listen, Yuma, your job is to convince them to get over here. Why do I need to convince them? They need to come on. The job, but he just made you his errand boy. Why? I'm intern, bitch. That's right. what I am. I'll head to their hotel. Thanks. Remember to avoid the peacekeeper's attention. Okay. So I got to be on intern duty this whole time. That's great. Hmm. So your commemorative first job is an errand. Mm -hmm. Are you sure about this, Mr. Trainee Detective? Hey, I got to go up the rank somehow. I've been hiding out on the sub. Right. By the way, Shinigami, what do you know about number one? Hmm. Huh? Why do you ask? Why are you getting shaky? What's up? I was just curious. Right. Wait, you know something, don't you? Right. Yes. I know that either at all. I have standards, you know. Were you number one's death god until he's unable to die? Because it looked like he was supposed to die a long time ago, so you moved on. I don't know. Besides, oh, what makes you think I know any humans personally? Oh, you know him. I mean, I'm a death god. The only people I need are dead. So is number one dead? Because he anyway, don't look alive. You should scope the city out while on your errand. Who knows? He might uncover Kanai Ward's ultimate secret. Don't try to change the subject. I don't think it's that simple. Right. You know this, man. You know Pop Pop. You know Pop Pop. Okay. We're going to revisit that later, Shinny. But you lucky I got to go run around. Okay. Look at that, Master. What, trash? What? Where? Right. There's some oh. amazing over there. Go get it. Hurry. Okay, let's go. Let's go see. Hold on. Okay, let me let me make sure that I could like look around the other stuff. Okay. Okay, I know, I know, I know, I know. I know, I know. I'm just trying to I'm just trying to look around, y'all. That's it. I'm not trying to go nowhere that I'm not supposed to go. Okay, that way is another way as well. Okay, let me just go this way. Hmm. What's that? Oh, memory shard. Copper. Recall memories from Yaku from the notebook. Huh. Is this a Shinigami figurine? Why is it here? Right. Don't worry your pretty little head about that. Hmm. Stressing out about every teensy detail will make you go bald. Girl. But if you collect these figurines, you can get a peek at your memories, master. Hmm. Wait, it'll cure my amnesia? No. Nah, huh. I'm afraid everything from before you came to Kanai Ward is still off limits. Oh. Okay, but you were here. Your memories with all the detectives and Buzzhead's agency. Hmm. You guys talked about all sorts of stuff, right? I don't um, know. What did we talk about again? Right. See? You already forgot. You're completely hopeless, Master. I have amnesia. I don't know how many, Like, I don't know. Y'all not getting this theme here. Like, y'all not getting this theme. what you forgot about, then look for these figurines around the city. Okay, so they're like little trophies. Them seems pretty tough, but I'll give it a shot. They're like little Riddler trophies in like an Arkham. You can check all your recovered memories in the notebook. You know, this is why you see check solution keys. Hmm. I think I understand. Right on. Okay. You maybe understand is perfect. Uh, there is one thing I should warn you about. Okay. You won't be able to check these memories while you're unable to move around freely or in a mystery labyrinth. Okay. Got it. That's fine. Okay, so memory shards that look just like me are scattered across Kanai Ward. Collecting memory shards to watch episodes featuring the other detectives under Gumshoe Gab in the notebook menu. Gumshoe. Hmm. That's like a thing going back to, uh, well, I don't know. Because Gumshoe was a name of a detective in Phoenix Wright, so it might not be connected. Or maybe, I don't know. Yo, Search around Kanai Ward and collect all the scary cute memory shards assembling yours truly. Hmm. So I look at, ooh, ooh, okay. Okay, got it. Okay, let's look at this one. Hmm. <sighs> so this was them talking before. Let's see. Something wrong, Chief? What's with the big sigh? Hmm. Well... It's nothing, really. Hmm. Since you arrived and we began investigating Kanai Ward's ultimate secret, mm -hmm. it seems we're all tense every day. I think it's just getting to me a bit. Hmm. I can't seem to find a way to feel all nice and relaxed. I, damn it all, long for the days when things were so uneventful. He don't want to do nothing. Before he don't want to work. here, most of your work concerned infidelity and looking for lost pets, right? Yep. Hmm. I used to just stare out the window and check whether the occasional client's spouse was cheating or not. And you know what? It's crazy because I feel like that profession is never going to go away. 
is people gonna keep on cheating? They so tell the target, and sure enough, they'd be cheating. Right. And the missus would end up crying when I reported back. Yep, they'd have to it's see the that same every day. Old story every day. Yep. This may be rude of me, but that doesn't sound very fun. It's not. In fact, it sounds kind of boring. Yeah. It sure is. But you know what they say. Every job is equally important. Hmm. Just because a job may look more glorious, it doesn't mean it's better. True. Nothing wrong with plain old boring jobs. It's good to be What's stable. What's most important is whether you can be proud of what you do. Exactly. Be happy with what you do. Buzzhead trying to act all cool. Huh? What's wrong? You feel quiet out of nowhere. Hmm. Let's see. Um, I'm impressed. I just wasn't expecting that kind of stuff from you. Mm-hmm. I'm a bit moved. Right. Not expecting? What's your image of me anyway? Lazy. Sorry. But really, I'm impressed. Hmm. You're right. All jobs are equally important. Mm hmm I'll make sure I keep that in mind. Yeah, you do that. Thank you. When you hang around master detectives a lot, you start to think you belong to a special class of people. Hmm. It's true. I hang out with them so much that I was starting to think I was on their level. Their I level. Be more careful about this. Hmm. I have a saying when it comes to my own work philosophy. Okay. Nothing beats a drink after a hard day's work. Okay, we're not gonna promote alcoholic tendencies. <laughs> I do hear that a lot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's all bogus anyway. Any time is a good time for booze. Like they say, it's five o'clock somewhere. A good drink is way better if you get to imbibe without having to work for it. Mm-hmm. What's wrong? You're quiet again. Are you amazed by my grown-up philosophy? I'm actually not surprised. I'm sorry, but right. I need to reconsider how impressed I was just now. Exactly, I'm not surprised. What? I can't believe you'd say that so fast. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Master, you and Yako seem to have grown closer. Yeah. We're, we're, we're getting closer, but I'm not surprised by him now. <laughs> All right, let's go down here. Let's see. To the Kamasa Kamasaki district. I was about to say that all wrong. <laughs> all right, so we're in the underground on, sector. Go. Go, go, go. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Okay, what's over here? This place. It looks like a variety store. There are some questionable bottles lined up though. Is it look, there's a candy called raindrops. How crappy. Oh, wow. Okay, let's see. Let's talk to you, sir. Hello. Sorry, we're moving some things in through here. Can you go around from over there? Yes. Okay, so he said get, get your ass on, okay. <laughs> Huh. Is it these hmm? doodles? Do you know something, Shinigami? Huh? Of course not. I'm not into this stuff at all. Hmm. Am I stupid for expecting anything else? Hmm. Okay. So there's. Oh. What? Hello. Why are you on the ground like that? Okay. Never mind. I'm just gonna mind my business. <laughs> the stairs. Okay. I didn't even see that man blended into the ground like that. Oh. Okay. Oh, is that the person that came off the no, train? That person. Right. They probably don't see outsiders that much. Come on, let's hurry up. Okay. Hmm. Right. That looked like the person that was on the train and came off. There's a lot of stuff I just have to look at, just in general. And I think I'll do that later. Okay, so let's see. Alrighty. Hello. Pardon me. You're not from Kanai Ward, are you? Uh, no. No, I'm not. How did you know? You never see my face? I do work at a hotel after all. I can tell from how a guest behaves. Okay. I don't know your circumstances, but it's rare to have guests from outside Kanai. Patronage mm. has plunged since Kanai Ward secluded itself from the world three years I ago. I bet. Frankly, we've had little to do. Oh, she must be happy to see me. <sighs> it's not as if we can just relocate somewhere else. I wonder how long this will go on for. Yeah, you need some tips. Ah, my apologies. I shouldn't complain in front of a guest. It's fine. Why did Kanai Ward cut itself off from the rest of the world? Hmm. Does it have to do with Kanai Ward's ultimate secret? Maybe. Hey, let's ask him about it. Hmm. Um, why did Kanai Ward close itself off from the world? Right. It was the will of Amaterasu Corporation. Of course it There's was. no other reason. It seems we common folk don't have a right to know. Hmm. I don't understand why the unified government permitted it. Uh, hmm. I mean, I have no complaints about Amaterasu. Oh, so y'all can't talk bad about it. Like, it's like, uh, like, there's no war in Ba I see. It's like that. I got it. Amaterasu Corporation subsidizes the hotel. So, besides the boredom from all our free time, 
We have no complaints. Okay. It seems like Amaterasu Corp unilaterally closed the borders. If that's the case, they've got huge political power. Hmm. That's some nice information you got. Another step towards solving God Eye Ward's ultimate secret. Hmm. I don't know about that. Right. All right, so we got some information. Wait a minute, what you doing right there? Hello? <laughs> I'm like, I'm about to go to the desk. He's just on the floor. Night, nightmare. Oh. Night, night. Yuma. Good morning. Good, good morning. Did you sleep here? Good morning. <laughs> what are you doing here? Right. Huh? <laughs> I'm reading a book. As usual, but like, why underneath the piano? Why are you in the darkness? The story I'm reading is about a boy building a sandcastle on the lake shore with a girl he just met. Mm -hmm. Many days pass, and the sandcastle still isn't complete. For some reason, it disappears the day after it's made. The mm. protagonist believes there's a reason why that happens. And you're trying to solve the, the mystery girl in that? Has been secretly destroying the sandcastles at night. She could be a suspect. So he stays on lookout at night on the lake. And just as he thought, the girl appears. She's being a hating bitch. As okay. She destroys the sandcastle and returns home. That's crazy. You can't trust them. Can't trust the these girls. The protagonist wonders why she do such a thing. Hmm. Yuma, what do you believe her motive is? Jealousy? Uh -huh. Um. So she hates the protagonist? Maybe? Maybe she hates the protagonist? Hmm. I see. Perhaps she vents her secret feelings by destroying the sandcastles. Maybe then so. Why does she continue to make sandcastles with protagonist day after day? To put on a face. That's how that's how haters do. Haters get close to you and act like they support you, behind, but behind your back, they're like, man, I'm wishing on your downfall. That's how it is. Is she trying to break the boy's heart over and over again? destroying the fruits of his labor if hmm. so that makes her sound like quite the lunatic yep but perhaps that is the essence of the human psyche just crazy hmm. so what's the real reason the real right reason? Mm -hmm. it doesn't say anything about that you must imagine the girl's reasoning for yourself okay make Max, make your own assumption stories just as you brought up this question hmm. the protagonist also tries to find the truth by chasing after the girl but mm -hmm. he loses sight of her in the darkness. Mm. However, it's a singular path with no other way to go. Mm -hmm. Normally, it'd be impossible to lose sight of someone there. Oh. The moonlight shines over the lake at the end of the path. I like the way he's talking. And there, at the lake, the protagonist notices something. The mm. sight of the girl facing away from him, disappearing into the lake. He can tell me stories anytime, <laughs> okay? Huh? The protagonist recalls a story about a girl who drowned at the lake years ago. Oh. Almost like a long forgotten memory. Hmm. He checks old newspapers and finds a picture of so her. So she's a ghost. In the photo, she looks like she's smiling directly at him. She's a ghost. Isn't it beautiful? Huh. This guy probably has no friends. Look, he's deep. It's, no, it's not way, bad. The, uh, Chief Yako asked for you at the office. Oh. Is it that time already? Yes. Tell the chief I'll be there. <laughs> All right. All right. Yeah, he's not going anywhere. Just look at him. He has zero intention of getting up. He's just gonna get up on his own time. Oh, also, do you know where the others are? Hmm. Maybe the restaurant? We should still be eating breakfast right now. Hmm. The restaurant, got it. I'll check it out. <sighs> I wanna die someday. Can you stop saying that, please? Can, can we can we stop skipping over it? I don't, I don't like that. I don't like that talk. All right. That person is a queen of yours, yes? He's how to put this, an unusual sport. <laughs> yeah, he's unusual, but that's him. So welcome to Sun and Moon Hotel. Unless you present your identification, connect, cannot accept your message. Okay, so. <laughs> you look so weird. Huh, what is this? A house plant. This is... so if you look closely at the flower, you can tell it's synthetic. The constant rain keeps sunlight out, so growing real flowers is a no-go. Hmm, that's kind of bleak. So they have to have just no real anything in here okay got it can i run i can't i can't run in here okay all right all right nope nope can't run okay that's cool i'll just keep going let me go this way okay so this on, is the breakfast there, okay hi y'all are the only ones in here 
Did y'all eat? Hey, rookie. What's up? You here for breakfast too? I might as well give me a little something because I can't cook. Good morning. Um, it's way past our meeting time. Right. Huh? Right. Yes. Impossible. It's possible. Because if I would permit time to ever overtake me. Oh. My vision is quite sharp, you know. Is it? Um, I have no idea what you're talking about, mm -hmm. but that's not an excuse for being late. Right. Oh, she's not making excuses. This is just how she is. Hmm. Listen, rookie. I bet you're here just because Chief told you to find us. I mean, yeah. But you've yet to realize one crucial fact. Think about it. We're all on the Everyone same level. Besides you and the Chief are staying at this hotel. It'd be faster to bring the Chief over here, right? I mean, yes. Now that you mention it, yes. Hmm. Don't be convinced so easily. I mean, he's right, but I'm not anyway, convinced. You should bring the Chief here. Y'all not about to put me on. Uh uh. Come on. Peacekeepers could be around. Right. The meeting may even be about planning out operations, so mm -hmm. it's better to have it at the office. Where nobody could listen. I agree with Yuma. Mm -hmm. what, you, of all people, are saying that now? Yes. She's fine. Tell the chief I'll be there after my post-meal soda. Sheesh. I will also be there after breakfast. Okay, y'all didn't eat yet. to promote good digestion, so this will take some time. Do you have to chew uh, forever? It. By the way, is Halara here with you? Uh, I doubt anyone in the world can hang out with that one. Oh, why not? I was going to offer an invitation to join us for breakfast, but the room was already empty. Oh, don't tell me they killed her already! Sure Lara's around somewhere, probably hustling kids out of their money. Looks oh like my god. Work to do. Let's search around some more. Okay, please don't tell me that this girl is dead. Do not tell me that. Okay, do you know? Where's she at? So you've I got a favor to ask you. A favor? What is it? Hmm. Okay. Yeah. There's a book I really want to read, but I haven't been able to find a copy. It's called The Crow and the Dove, Survival of the Fittest and World Salvation. That's the one heck of a title. Right. It's the tragic story of a crow battling a dove in order to justify its existence. In the end, the two turn the world into a wasteland. Wow. So doesn't that sound a bit dull? You think so? Hey. If you happen to find a book, I was hoping you bring it to me. Because. As you can see, I'm pretty busy here. Are you? For sure? You sure don't look it. Mm. Well, look around for it if you're so inclined. Oh. I'll just take oh. it easy and wait here. Aww. His blatant laziness is almost refreshing. Mm. All right. So y'all just gonna put me on air, and huh? Okay. You might see people in need of help while you're moving around town. You can receive a request by talking to them. Take on a request the detective way. Detective points can be earned by solving them. Requests can only be accepted and fulfilled in the chapter they appear. Oh, so I have to do it, like, now. Okay, if you progress through the chapter without completing a request, it'll stay unsolved. If you progress through the chapter without accepting a request, it'll disappear, so be careful. You can retry unsolved requests if you play the chapter again. Oh, hell no. These chapters are already long. <laughs> All right, so I got that. Let's see. Let's go ahead and get out of here. This says, hey kid, could you spare a sec? Uh, What's the matter? Some guy was trying to push the weird book on me. I told him no, but he was so pushy. I don't know if he's a quota or what, but he was real persistent. I'm getting really annoyed. I'm just thinking about it. It had a really long name too, Crow, something, something. Who even reads that? So, oh, you're the dude I need to talk to for the Maybe. book. Could that be the book of Vivia's looking for? Um, Where did you run into that person? It's, well, if you take this street toward Ginma's district, then I'd find it. Okay. And turn left at the bar, you'll find him. Better stay away, though. He's really persistent. I see. I see. Thank you for the advice. So that's who I have to talk to for that book. Hmm. Let me see. Let me go this way. I might as well try to get the book since, you know, I can't find... Uh, Miss, uh, Miss Nightmare. Miss Gambler. Let's see, let's go over here. Hmm. That new book comes out today, doesn't it? I'll have to pick it up after work. Now that I think about it, the bookstore owner said he had the Elder Edition too. Maybe I'll get both. Speaking oh, right. Much. Vivia asked me to buy a book from him earlier. Yeah. Maybe I should ask this guy about it. It seems like he might know a lot about books. Excuse me. And I'm looking for an unusual book. Oh, you like books too? In that case, you should get yourself to the Kamasaki District Bookstore. They have books from all over the world there. It's anyone's guess how they can get their hands on them. Oh! So that sounds amazing. The store is at the top of the stairs just up ahead. If you're looking for a book, that's the place to check. Okay. I feel like Thank something else much. is in there. Might be a dead body in there. I don't know. 
I feel like I'm being led to a dead body, maybe. Let's see. Hmm. Let's, oh wait, okay, it's up there. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay, there's the bookstore. All right, hello. Um, you over there, you looking to buy something? I deliver too, help me out here. Huh? huh? I deal in all kinds of goods. Sales have been slow lately, so why not buy something? Aww. How are you gonna get out of this one? <laughs> Actually, I don't have much money. Just take a look, that don't cost a thing. Come on, just one look. I got food, daily necessities, and loads hmm? of books. Books? Of Come which. to think of it, wasn't Vivia looking for a book? Okay, looking for a book, eh? What's it called? Uh, um, hmm. what was the title again? Oh, they, oh, they tested me. Okay, uh, Survival of the Fittest, there we go. Uh, World Salvation, mm-hmm. There we go. And so I got that one in stock, there we go. Nice taste you got there. That one's a real cult classic. Huh, really? He said, yeah, it's a good one, but not too popular. Been having trouble moving it. Gonna take on, take one off my hands? Yes, please. I like it to be delivered to the person sleeping under the piano at the hotel. Huh, under the piano at the hotel? Well, whatever, so I just gotta get the money from him. Thank you very yes, much. thank you, because he ain't pay me, all right? He said, guess that means I'm fulfilled his request. Hi. Not yet, Master, you have to make sure the book reaches That's the destination. True. You're right, let's go check with Vivia. Okay, so let's check with Night Night. Cause he definitely didn't give me any money to get this book. He just said, go get that shit. Um, so he needs to pay me, okay? And I wonder if I do do this, will he end up paying me? Like if I finish this, if I finish this up, let's see. Let's go over here and go back to the hotel. It's right here, right? Yeah, okay, I got stopped on the sign. Okay, there we go, get inside. Now let's make sure that you got it. You good? Hey. He said, hey there, Yuma. A shopkeeper just came by with the book. You're, You're the one who sent him, right? Yeah. Thanks. Well, yes, did you read it already? Yeah. yeah, it was wonderful. You read it that fast? What it means to be a crow. Flying through the air would be amazing. Right. I wonder if I could live free like a crow. To soar through the sky boundlessly. No. Just don't jump off a building. <laughs> right, let's, let's keep him on watch because we don't know what's going on with him. Right, I was considering it. It seems the book has an impact on me. That's nice. Truly a wonderful read. Thank you, Yuma. Whatever that keeps you on this earth, we're gonna do it, okay? Lord Jesus, okay. All right, so let's go ahead and get out. Thank you, I ranked up on that mission. <laughs> hey, did you hear about the clock tower case at Gima District? Oh? People I talking. Heard it's the mailman again. Hmm. Yeah, the culprit was already caught. There were a bunch of peacekeepers. It was a big deal. Hmm. No way! The nail man was caught? What did he look like? Hmm. Let's nail see. Man. Nail man, right. Maybe we should follow them. Case. Hmm. <laughs> a case already! The city is just as wonderful as the rumors say! She loves conflict. She loves yeah, drama. The clock tower in a place called Gigma District. Let's go see! Uh-huh. But we have to find Halara first. I do want to find Night Night. I can't wait a second longer. Is Night Night dead? This car works here too? Yep, until this world ends. I feel like we're gonna discover the clock tower thing and she's gonna be the one that's dead, I feel like. All right, I'm coming, I'm coming, girl. Don't be dragging me like this, I'm not your servant. Okay, I'm not your little dog, Shinny. All right, we going, we going. Sheesh. All right, Shinny, if you won't pull me, you better pull me the whole way and stop starting and stopping. Okay, so this area looks a little more upscale. Has little bakeries. Okay. This looks like this side has more money. <laughs> okay. This is Gima District. We got here by just wandering around. And you mean you pulling me? You didn't know where you were going? Right. It feels different from Kamasaki District. Feels a little richer. Hmm. It's still raining as usual, but the area looks high class and luxurious. Yeah, they got museums, look. Not just the buildings, the people too. People walk around in suits. Everyone looks totally rich. Hmm. Crazy different from the poors we saw back there. The poors, girl? <laughs> I hate people. All the poors have deranged personalities. Let's not say that. Don't go on them. Don't go on them. I think it depends on the person. Right. So where's the clock tower that incident happened at? Like I said, we need to find Halara first. I feel like Night Night dead. I feel like she's dead. Listen, Master, as your mentor, I'll teach you something important. Okay. Detectives prioritize investigations above all else, more than your parents or nature's call itself. 
But they oh, also asked me to go, I'll go find her and bring her. Guess I'll ask around first. I feel like Nightmare is dead. I don't know. I don't like the way that it's going. So we gotta find my Night Knight, okay? We gotta find her. So can I talk to you? He said, the art gallery has been closed ever since the incident. Hmm? What kind of incident was it? I don't really know myself. I wonder why it's still closed. Hmm. Okay. So let's go over here. There's like a little question mark back here. Hello. What should I do if something happened to my baby? I'm sure she's fine, probably. Oh, mm -hmm. looks like they have a problem, master. What do you want to do? Yeah. I can't just ignore them. Let's hear what they have to say. All right. So where's your baby? Uh... Excuse me, is something wrong? Our child suddenly vanished. Huh? That's it? A lost kid? Boring girl. They could have been trafficked or something. Come on now. Our little girl was spirited away. I just know it. That is such a fire movie, by the way. Sorry for your situation, but that is such a fire movie. Hmm? Spirited away. Oh, that's an interesting combination of words. Um... What does being spirited away mean? Lately, there's been a rumor spreading through Kamasaki District. Children are just suddenly disappearing. Even though you never let them out of your sight, they're gone in an instant or spirited away. It seems that none of the other kids who've been spirited away have returned. Oh, please let her be safe. Then... Where did you last see her? It was in Kamasaki District. We were, hope we were shopping together. Huh, I'm so worried. If something happened to her, mm. I have other things I need to be doing, but help find the child. Yes, help find him. Yeah. I'll find her. You two wait here. You will? Thank you so much. This is a photo of our girl. She's wearing the same clothes today, so this might help you recognize her. I'm begging you, please find our baby. Okay. All right, let's see. I'm so sorry, y'all. I'm so sorry. Okay, so let's see the map. Let's go to here. Okay, I got you, I got you, got you. Okay, so let's go to the Kamasaki district. Yes, let's go there by bus. All right, let's go. Maybe I could ask around. Let's see. Hello. Um, Excuse me. Have you seen this child? Never seen her. Was she spirited away too? No. You've heard of this before. Does being spirited away happen that often? I don't know about that, but I've seen lots of folks get hysterical because their kid had up and vanished. They say it's a ghost that appears out of nowhere and kidnaps hmm? the kids. A ghost? Hmm. Huh. Don't let me together with some ghosts. <laughs> it's not like I believe in ghosts in the first place, but I bet Amaterasu is behind hmm. it. Hmm. Yeah, they're probably using the kids for some kind of experiment, you know? I wouldn't be too surprised if Amaterasu really was behind it all. Me? Is Amaterasu really doing something that's terrible? Thank you very much. Thanks for your help. Please let me know if you see the child. Okay, so they're probably do- Oh, okay, that's a peacekeeper, so let me let me get out the way of that one. Excuse, Excuse me. me. Can I help you? Uh, Have you seen this child around here? Never seen her. Uh, I see. Yeah. It doesn't seem like he knows anything. I should ask somebody else. Well, he was very short with his answers anyway. I don't think that he even wanted to help me. Okay, let's go over here. You, ma'am. Um, Excuse me, have you seen this child around here? Let's see. Hmm, I feel like I saw her in the underground passage not too long ago. Yes. Really? I don't remember it clearly, but I think a kid was wearing those same clothes. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Be careful if you're going down there. The peacekeepers are sometimes on patrol. If you get caught and sent to a detention facility, you're probably not coming back. What? Oh, extreme. Right. Got it, I'll be careful. Huh, so they're gonna try to beat my ass. This is the underground passage. Let's go check it out right away, master. Right, if we don't hurry, the kid might be there, might not be there anymore. Hmm. Huh? All right, is this the place where the kid was seen? It feels like a ghost could pop out at any second. I'm spooked. Oh, no. Anyway, let's take a look around. All right. All right, I gotta be careful. Hmm. Oh, there goes a child. Isn't that the munchkin we're looking for? Yeah. Maybe, let's go check. Okay, baby, are you good? Right. Are you all right? Hello? Hello? Mm. Master, be careful, right? I don't know, is this a ghost? Huh? huh? Um, ba what do you, what is that? Who the hell? Sister, you're the one who kidnapped the kid. The worst, the worst. Master. I have a bad feeling about this guy, Master. Is he even human? Ah, uh, this city is the worst. It's all because I'm a Tarasu Corporation. If not for them, huh? What are you saying? I feel sorry for all the children living in the city, the city cursed by Amaterasu. That's why I chose to save them, to save the children with my own hands. Huh? This guy really isn't human. It's the memory of a man who died miserably. Oh, he's a ghost. I'm, I'm, I'm saying he's a ghost and an evil one at that. We gotta get out of here. I won't let you. Oh? Oh, you can hear her? I can't move. Master, let my master go, you creep. Choose the child or yourself. Only one of you will return. Aw, oh, shit. 
It said, he wants me to choose which one of us to save? Forget about the kid. You're much more important. She said, fuck that kid. <laughs> oh, man. You know what? Who do I save? I was here for the child, so let's save the child. That was the whole point. He said, do you have a death wish? He said, I don't plan on dying, but I, can I can't sacrifice the child. He said, I leave the child in your care. Oh, he was trying to test me. He was trying to test me to see how bad I was. Huh? Huh? He was trying to see if I was selfish, maybe. I said, who are you, mister? Are we underground? Uh, Your mom and dad asked me to come look for you. Let's head back to them together, okay? Okay. Man, these poor kids. These poor children. Hmm. Okay, so we got her back to her kids. And said, thank you so much. How can I ever repay you no. with money? Okay? <laughs> I'm broke. I'm just glad your kid is safe. Well, if you'll excuse me. Of course. Come now. Say thank you. Thanks, mister. See you later. Aw, that's nice of you to do things for good deeds, but I want money. I want cash. I'm glad that you and the kid are safe, but what was that ghost? Sure. I bet he used to really adore children. I don't think he ever planned to harm them. What? Then why all the kidnapping? That's why. He probably meant it when he said he wanted to save them. Hmm. Save them from Amaterasu? Maybe he lost his own child to the city. That's why he was trying to take him away from here. That's what I think, anyway. Hmm. All right, so we, we fixed that one. We fixed that case. But we still gotta look for our girl. Hmm. hmm? Could that thing over there be the clock tower? Maybe. No doubt about it. Let's take a look, master. Okay, let's go. Okay, so we can't go in the street, so let's just keep going. All right, let's go. Oh, wait, not that way. I think we have to cross it. Oh, do we really have to, like, wait? Oh, we really have to wait. Oh, wow. Oh, that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. I kind of like that. I hope that Night Night is not dead. I really hope so. I really hope so. Um, is this the child I just saved? Hello? So there's a big clock tower nearby. That's where my friends and I usually play, but something happened and the peacekeepers ran us off. I'm so bored. Um, you look very similar to the other kid that I just Look saved. For real. Hmm. Hey, I heard the nail man got caught. Oh. What? The serial killer? Uh oh. Serial killer. Hmm. So, what's this nail man guy like? Is his face covered with nails? He's no. He's called nail man because he's covered in them, idiot. Oh damn. <laughs> Did you hear about the nails all over the crime scenes? Yeah. Because he nailed him to the ground. So it was another locked room mystery, right? Oh no. Yeah, that's what I heard. Oh no. They keep reminding me of my girl and I'm getting sad. I'm hearing lots of exciting voices. One that should not excite you. Master, let's hurry and check it out. I feel like that's not good. We cannot. It's already sealed off by the peacekeepers. Huh, we gotta go around. Hmm. Oh, oh no, girl, no. You may not be able to be seen, but I can. Good morning. Who are you? Don't don't worry about it. Um, did something happen here? Hmm. The place is off limits to outsiders. Get lost. Okay, thank you for not answering my question. Alright. We gotta go around, baby. That ain't gonna work. I mean, he is a little bit of a punk, but I mean, like, they, we don't have a weapon, like, so know, what are we gonna do? Take a look around. There's no way I can get any closer. Hmm. Don't tell me to push my way through the peacekeepers. I don't want them setting their sights on me. Especially when they have Besides, weapons. the murderer has already been caught. There's no point in me getting involved. No, because this might be tied to Night Night. A detective will always crave more info about the crime. Right. It's a locked room mystery. Mm -mm. You should be grabbing your pants with excitement right now. Why I mean, I am. Shouldn't. <laughs> Besides, I'm not even a proper detective. You're a detective in training. Master, Fix it. Don't tell me you're worried about being a trainee. I mean, they have been treating me like an intern it's the whole time. Like, I just don't get it. Why am I even trying to become a detective? Hmm. I mean, will I ever regain my memories? Yes, you will. Without them? I don't know how to feel about working at the Nocturnal Detective Agency. Oh, you feel like it's Master, all for nothing? What's important isn't your past, it's your future. Right. I mean, you're the reason this happened to me in the first place, Shinigami. But you did the deal with her, well, so. If you're so fixated on the past, why don't you follow in the footsteps of your past self? Mm hmm. What do you mean? Find the trophies. 
aim to become a detective as a trainee. Mm -hmm. If you aim for the same destination, all paths will eventually lead to one place. Exactly. Which means that one day, you should understand how your past self felt. Mm -hmm. I get the feeling you're just saying that, so I'll do what you want me to. No. Besides, how am I supposed to try to become a detective? Through investigating cases, obviously. Right. So, let's scope out that clock tower. How about it, future detective? That's right, Cindy. Keep him on track. Yeah. You're just trying to make me do whatever you want. I mean, this is your whole goal. Fine. For now, I'll ask around about what happened. Okay. Maybe this case has something to do with Kanai Ward's ultimate secret. Hmm. That's the spirit, Miss Durable. <laughs> I like Shinny. Even though she's a little dark, she keeps me positive. I like it. All right. Ooh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hello. Uh, pardon me, but it seems like something happened at the clock tower. Hmm. Do you know anything about he it? He looking kind of like he's like he owes somebody money right now. <laughs> oh yeah, I saw the peacekeepers take away the culprit. Oh, where'd they go? You saw who it was? They apprehended a man wandering around the clock tower. Hmm. He had a lot of weapons on him. Hmm. Among them was a hammer. Oh. So he's the culprit for sure. Hmm. After all, they say the nail man always carries a hammer and nails wherever he goes. Or was that a he setup? Was wandering around the clock tower while carrying a hammer. Hmm. That sure does sound suspicious. Hmm. But you can't always take it for face value because some people might be getting set up. You never know. Okay, so now I gotta wait. There we go. I wonder if it makes me wait like for a certain amount of time or just waits for me to get there and then it does it. I don't know. Hmm. Hello. Um, there seems to have been some sort of incident at the clock tower. Do you know anything about it? Right. Oh my, really? Such troubled times we live. Okay, so you don't know. It's that man again, right? Hmm. I've heard there were numerous cases. Hmm. You mean the nail man? That's the one. There Why was you sound excited? Not too long ago. Where did it happen again? Hmm. The museum or the art gallery? In hmm. any case, I'm glad he's been caught. It I might have been there were no the museum art gallery. I don't know. In locked rooms with no way in or out. Hmm. <sighs> I'm so relieved. By Why? Who are you? You've got some nerve talking to me as if you know me. Bitch, you got some nerve acting as if you are above me. Stop playing. Oh, so... Uh, okay. You should have just never talked to me in the first place. How are you gonna be... You know what? Whatever. How's she gonna stand there and have a whole conversation with me? Then after the conversation, be like, And why are you talking to me? Bitch, why are you talking to me? That's how conversation works. So, like, what the hell? Okay. You know what? These people in this rich area are gonna get on my nerves. I can see that. I can see that already. All right, hello. Excuse me, I heard that the criminal called the nail man was caught. Mm -hmm. Really? That's big news. Oh. I better tell everyone. So you don't know. So who is this nail man? Hmm. What? You don't know? I'm sure you've at least heard about him. Yeah, just to He's talk. He's a mysterious nail man. Conai Ward's most famous urban legend. Urban hmm. legend? Legend? Sorry, I haven't heard of it. Oh? You should count yourself lucky then. Hmm. Have you ever felt the urge to kill someone while going through your day? Hell no! What is going on with y'all in this place? What is going on? No man can make that wish come true. What? So he's like a hitman? Is that what you're saying? All you need to do is write down the name of someone you wish dead. Someone you hate so much you could kill. What? Then make a doll resembling that person, nail the name tag to it, and leave it at the forest behind the church. Oh, this is a whole ritual y'all are doing. The nail man. We will kill that person for you. Or so the legend goes. Y'all got some dark Whoever demons. Whoever killed by the nail man is pinned by countless nails. Oh my gosh. Y'all are dark in this rich district. Oh, scary. I can't handle horror stories. Hmm. But that's just an urban legend. Right? Right. It was until six months ago. For the hmm. past six months, corpses kept turning up covered in nails. So people just been getting their hits off, huh? People were in an uproar talking about how the nail man is real. But now, he's been caught. Hmm. What kind of person would want to copy the nail man? He must have a screw loose or something. I mean, people are even crazier for doing the whole ritual to kill somebody. A killer from an urban legend. How creepy. Look, hmm. Master. Hairs on my body are standing on end. I'm surprised you're but chill from you this. You don't have any hair. Right. Now, is she really scared or is she excited? These snooty people. 
Hmm. Still, I think I get the gist of it. Mm -hmm. These nail man cases are based off an urban legend. They started six months ago. Mm -hmm. A similar case happened at the clock tower today, but a suspect was apprehended. Okay. That's about it. There's nothing else for me to know. Hmm. Wait, what about those cases? They all happened in locked rooms, right? Mm -hmm. I haven't seen any locked room mysteries yet! Give it to me! I want to know! I, hmm. I doubt we can see the scene of the crime. Let's just head back. Come on, hmm. just a peek. Let's check out the clock tower one last time. We gotta get around there somehow. Just one look, okay? Okay, and you it's gonna have Night Night dead in there. The president of our company. No, of our nation. Hmm. Not, I feel like Night Night's gonna be dead there. I don't know. I don't know, man. I feel like she's gonna be dead. Because she's not here. I feel like every detective is gonna die. Just like on the train. All right, here we are. Okay, it looks like I could go like in that little dip. Okay. I need to go to the front, but I feel like I should go to the side. But let me just follow the instructions here. Something's up. Hmm. Oh, oh, is that a kid? What's going on? Is that the culprit? Excuse me. What? Are you okay? Can you stand up? Right. Hi. Are you the murderer or like what's going on? Come on, let's go. Hey, wait! Oh. I'll arrest you for obstruction of justice. Uh-oh. Uh, I mean, what you think was gonna happen? You jumped in here without a plan. Right. I couldn't help it. What were you thinking? Oh my god. Don't do so. I'm gonna call this boy Deku, because he he be jumping in with without a plan. You're under arrest by the peacekeepers. Hmm. If you resist, enforcement measures will be taken against you. Oh, Listen, that's fine. You have no right to remain silent. You have no right to a lawyer. And this is why I don't like y'all. Y'all was gonna do that anyway, because they don't like me being a detective. Oh, wait, please, listen to me. Hmm. Put both hands on your head and get down. Any other action will be seen as resistance. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Night, night! Night, night! Okay, there we go. She's alive. Thank you. Thank you. Let's go. Night, night, BDM. Let's go. Let's go. Get them. That's right. Yes. Come on, night, night. And she make them go night, night. <laughs> I was right to nickname her that. She putting them to sleep. <laughs> Thank you, oh, Laura. All right. A reckless sense of justice isn't even worth a single point. Oh. This could have cost your life. Remember that. I'm sorry. I'm what? sorry. <laughs> sorry. I'm glad that you're alive. That's some impressive athleticism. I like you, Master. Uh, oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, hmm. Now, who hey, are you, baby? Are you okay? Please. Hmm. My dad needs help. Hmm. What's your dad? Get my dad back from them! Please! Oh, your dad was the killer? Huh? Is that what you're saying? Get your dad back? What do you mean? Hmm. My dad was arrested by peacekeepers for what happened at the clock tower. Mm-hmm. They say he's the culprit. Oh. Wait, that's your dad? Hmm. But he was here to repair the clock tower. Mm -hmm. He has nothing to do with what happened. Yeah, they just arrested anybody with a hammer. That's kind of so, crazy. Your dad is innocent, but he's being framed as the nail man? As I thought. My dad would never murder anyone. He has no reason to. Hmm. So please, please, get my dad back from them. Okay, I will, baby. Don't worry about it. So you want us to prove your father's innocence? Is that an assignment? I mean, that was... Yeah. Assignment? Yes. I figured you could do it since you took them down so easily. What's this boy's name? His name's just Boy? Like, they're not gonna give him a name. How much do you have ready? Uh, oh. money. You, you mean money? Right. I don't work for cheap. I mean, I, I hear you. I hear you night night, but this is a little kid. Like, I don't think that I he has anything. I will fulfill a job no matter what it takes. I have the mind and strength to make it possible. Mm -hmm. However, if you want my help, you will need to prove your resolve. With some money. How many money? All, all I can offer is this. Oh, poor baby. My dad and I played catch together all the time. Oh. It's my 
my most prized possession. She's so precious. Oh, mm. little baseball. Take it, take it, night night. Out of the question. Oh. Or at least give oh, it back to him. Wait. You're not going to accept his request? Right. Or should I? Because to decipher someone's mind is to see how many chips they put on the table. Okay, you want to see what they wager. Getting amount of money to prove their resolve. Hmm. To me, they might as well not even exist. Damn, Big night night. For someone who's all about the money. Right. What kind of demon would try to take money from a little kid? That's what I'm saying. He's a kid. Got those, so I sure ain't one to talk. <laughs> but you know that you have some decency. Oh, Jeez. Did he? Not offer enough, right? The wall itself may not be worth. It's much. worth much to him. The sentimental value it represents is priceless. Right. If you think so, then you should take on the job. I will then. Uh huh? Or perhaps you're going to make the assignment on that boy's behalf. I don't work for cheap. I get it. You got bills to pay, uh, how girl. How much do you charge? Hmm. Preliminary estimates market at around five million yen. I don't know how much that is over here, but it sounds like a lot. Yen. Is that currency? How much is it? It's enough right. to purchase a luxury car. Oh, wow. A luxury car? Huh. That much? Right. By the way, even though I'm amazing, I can't create human money out of thin air. I figured that. Hmm. So we oh, gotta work for our money. Nearby. Come see me once you've made up your mind. Oh, I'ma do it. I'ma do it. You'll need my help eventually. And when you do... I better pay up. Call on a detective named Halara Nightmare. Hmm. Huh. So, what'll you do, Master? I'm gonna take the case for the little well, baby. I have to do this myself. Yeah. What? You sure you can handle it? Yes, so I can. I don't care as long as I can scope out locked room mysteries. And you love hey, those. Leave your dad to me. Right. He'll be fine. I hope. <laughs> he probably will be. It, definitely, yeah. Let's not sound unsure. Hey, are you confident or not? Right. Thank you. I will, baby. Looks like my master made up his mind. Now, let's take a peek at the crime scene. When mm -hmm. the peacekeeper's gone, now's our chance to strike. That's true. Hey, wait. Before that. Hmm. What is that? Oh, is that their key cards? The peacekeepers? Huh. A tablet device. Wow, it's the clock tower murder report. Oh, this good. Is a great find. Okay, so let's Just read that. The details of the case are on here. Hmm. What does it say? Okay, the crime scene is the clock tower storage, third floor. Victim was female, age 20s to 30s. Identity to be confirmed. Estimated time of death is unknown. Time of discovery is approximately 7 a.m. Okay, so it was a woman that was 20 to 30s, and we don't know what time she died, but we discovered her at 7. The body was found around 7 a.m. Hmm. It's a little past 80 a.m. right now. So it was so like an it's hour ago. an hour since the body was first found. No hmm. wonder things are so hectic. The body may even still be there. Hmm. Another body. Anyway, Master, there's more to that report, right? Huh. Let's see. Okay, there was a report of a suspicious person behind the church. The victim was discovered during an investigation. The murder is suspected of being related to the nail man killing. Hmm. A suspicious person behind the church? But the area behind the church is... Hmm. All you need to do is write down the name of someone you wish dead. Someone you hate so much you could kill. Then make hmm. a doll resembling that person, so nail the, the name forest. to it, and leave it at the forest behind the church. Huh. This summons... Okay. That's where the forest to summon the nail man is located. Hmm. They pursued someone they thought was the nail man and found the body. Hmm. It says the door was locked from the inside of the scene at the time. The door was locked from the inside at the scene of the crime. There we go. Okay, the only window was shuttered and was also locked from the inside. There are no other entrances and it seems to be a completely locked room. This matches the nail man's modus operandi. There we go. Hmm. Mystery time. Yeah. She should not be this happy. She should not. You're so excited. Right. Does the nail man turn his crime scenes into locked rooms like this every time? Hmm. Phantom who vanishes like smoke in a room with no way in or out. Just the thought of it makes me drool. Now she's trying to eat up these mysteries. What's going on with you, Shinny? 
It said the suspect apprehended a suspicious individual near the clock tower. Suspect was found with multiple hammers believed to have been used in the crime. Name is Yale Yai Colon. That's a hard thing to say. Jai G A Colon. I don't know how to pronounce it. 48. He's 48. Occupation unknown. The suspect claims he was repairing the clock. No witnesses or alibis. The peacekeeper's current investigation suspects him to be the nail man. Communicate only the information found in this report to the media. Hmm. Okay. The peacekeepers captured some dude and assumed he's the mailman. Right. You gotta search the crime scene yourself to find the truth. Cause we know that's not yeah, true. Maybe you're right. You hmm. finally getting into it? Took you long enough to warm up. Right. Now let's go. The scene of the crime is the storage room on the third floor of the clock tower. Okay, let's go. Let's hurry. Before the peacekeepers wake up. Oh, okay, yeah, they're knocked safe. out. I'll be right back once I check inside. Mm -hmm. Alright. Alright, baby. Go ahead now and be safe, okay? Now what is that? Is oh that's just a light. <laughs> I'm like, what the hell? Okay, let's go. Let's go inside. Let's go inside. Hmm. That's a long way up. Alrighty, let's go. Okay, oh, I see something red there. Is there a, is there somebody in here? Is there somebody inside of yep. here? Use the stairs so you don't get fat. Oh, girl, look, ain't nothing wrong with little thick thighs, okay? Thick thighs say lies, okay? All right, this is a long way up, Lord. Let's keep going. Hmm. Okay, so looks like we gotta go up there. So that was, damn, that only took me to the second floor, all those steps? Lord, Jesus. Mm -hmm. I see a suspicious door. Hmm. What's this? The crime happened in the storage room on the third floor of the clock tower. Hmm. So it should be right behind this door. Let's there see. Maybe a corpse still in there. It might You've be. Already seen plenty of corpses on the Amaterasu Express. Hmm. Hurry up. Okay. I damn. Jenny. I want to see any more. Right. Okay. To be honest. Hmm. Until I opened that door. None of it felt very real to me. Mm-hmm. All right, let's see. I've been treating the case as if it was something that happened to someone else long ago. But it's like right now. But the moment I opened the door, all of my delusions vanished in an instant. Oh, wow. But that's a doll. And there's the body. Oh, man. Oh, they made the blood pink just like in Danganronpa. Wow. Wow. What is this? This looks terrifying. Is that a real corpse? Huh. It's not some mannequin, is it? Her body looks gray. This blood is real? Hmm. How? Why? Well, I guess his body looks gray too, I guess. Jeez, hmm. it's just some freakish, gruesome murder scene. Get it together. G Shinny, you are a death god. You're used you're to mentor? death. Let me just say that you'll come across this stuff all the time as a detective. Okay. So don't be scared. Investigate. Uh, hurry before the peacekeepers come back. Okay, that's true. Shinigami, you don't feel anything after seeing this body. I'm pretty sure she's just used to death uh, at this point. You're asking me how I feel about death. Right. Well, let me tell you, this is totally ordinary. Hmm. This ordinary? It's absolutely abnormal. It's normal for it to be abnormal. You're dealing with a murder case in a city like this. Mm-hmm. You can either accept it or go insane. That's Blood true. It's just a liquid. A body is just an object. Got it? That is not true, Shinny. before someone gets in your way. Chop, chop. She's right about that, though. We do need to look around and investigate before somebody try to cover it up or try to beat my ass. So let's hurry up. Come on, Yuma. Come on, Yuma. This is part of the job. Fine. You're right. I should hurry before the peacekeepers return. Mm-hmm. There we go. Now let's start the investigation. Aw. She looks so young. 20s to 30s. Also, hmm. any clues you find during your search will be recorded by yours truly. Okay, thank you, as you it should. Will all materialize once you get to the mystery labyrinth later. Hmm. I don't go back there anymore. <laughs> Someone will die once the mystery is solved. Right. <laughs> you are so naive. Having sympathy for the criminal you're catching. I mean... He's a nice guy. Okay, inspect the investigation marker together. Information to solve the case. Okay. All right, let's get into the investigation. Let's go. 
All right, let's look at the body. I guess I'll have to search the body, huh? It's part of the job. We've done it before. We've all been waiting for. You're lucky you got here before they took it away, aren't you? I mean, to be fair, we had practice. Like we had, like we had practice in train with the other detectives. Okay. I can't stomach calling myself lucky when I think about the victim. Hmm. This is definitely a real corpse, not a doll. Okay, I so it looks like she was strangled by a rope. The peacekeeper report didn't include any details. Hmm. But no matter who she is, she didn't deserve this. It looks like this might be a copycat because first of all, it looks like she was It looked like she was strangled because look at her neck. It looks like like where a rope already killed her and then after she was dead, they did that. That's what it looked like. Cut the chatter, master. Hurry, hurry. Okay, okay. This is terrible. Hmm. The body is covered in nails pinning her to the floor. Mm -hmm. What's this? There's a mark on the neck. Like she was it choked. It looks like a rope burn. Right. The vertical scratch marks were made by the victim as she struggled. Hmm. The victim usually ends up with marks like this when they thrash around while getting strangled by a rope. Hmm. That's fairly typical when it comes to strangulation victims. Seen it a bunch of times. Yeah. So she was killed by strangulation? I think so. Then they the stabbed her. The report didn't say anything about the cause of death. Hmm. hmm. I wonder why. It should have been easy to figure out. Or maybe they're trying to cover it up again. Oh, right. They got the chance to see a corpse up close and they blew it. Maybe on purpose. In any case, finding out the cause of death is huge. Hmm. It looks like she was strangling at that to get the rope off of her. Let's look. Hmm. Let's look over here. The doll on the wall. There are dolls nailed all over the walls and floor. What a Why? sight. Hmm. All the dolls here look antique. They're looking at me as if they're full of hate. It would have hmm. taken a ton of time to do all this by hand. Right? Why would the culprit go to the trouble to do this? Hmm. Maybe it's to link it back to the urban legend about the nail nail. I think it's a copycat. I all think this is a copycat. Is okay, we, we saw this like three times. We got it. <laughs> but why would the culprit go through so much trouble to imitate an urban legend? Or right. Maybe it's the real nail man. I don't know. <laughs> Mm -hmm. uh, uh. Right, he's like, whatever, girl. Because <laughs> you live for this kind of stuff usually. Okay, the window looks like it's shut. So this is the only window. Hmm. They've installed shutters instead of glass. Hmm. The shutters look new despite the building's old age. It must have been added later on. So that nobody the could get out. big enough for someone to fit through. Hmm. The door was locked from the inside of the scene at the crime. The only window was shuttered and also locked from the inside. Hmm, According there are no other entrances. Report, the shutters were already closed at the time of discovery. So hmm. they've been left alone like this. Well, hey, how about you try opening them? Let's see if I can. <sighs> hmm. It won't open. It's locked. Were the shutters locked when the body was discovered? Right. Maybe open them. Maybe there's a secret password or something. Hmm. No, or a button. I don't think it's a password. Hey, Let's see. There's a latch on the left side. I think I can move it. Okay, there we go. Now it could be unlocked. Okay. All right, it hmm. opened. The latch was pretty light. It can be easily adjusted. Okay. It's rather high up. It's above the third floor on most buildings. Hmm. It's impossible to jump off from here. Even if you tried climbing down, Hmm. There's nothing to hold on to out there. You can see the big clock above, but there's nothing really suspicious here. Hmm. Hmm. It'd be difficult for the culprit to get in and out from here. Right. Huh. It's trying to make... I'm, I'm thinking, y'all. I'm thinking. What's that sound? Oh, it's locked again. Oh, so every time it closes, it automatically locks. Huh. Master, why are you still playing with the shutters? Hmm. You want to be friends with them? So it automatically no, locks every that's time. Not it. Let's see. Okay, if I put it all oh, the way up, it doesn't down. go down. Okay. So, if it's halfway, then it closes and shuts. I get it. Okay. This shutter stops once it goes all the way up. 
But mm. when set halfway, it's designed to fall down with its own weight. Mm -hmm. And if it goes all the way down, it automatically locks. Okay. I get it. Uh, you're really fixated on these shutters. I feel like it might be well, something. I'll make them a solution key for you. Hmm. Just in case you open a shutter shop one of these days. Shinny trying to mislead me, making me think that stuff don't matter when it does. And, I, I'm, and I'm peeving mm -hmm. it. There's something under the window. Hmm. What's that? Did you find something interesting? What is that? Huh. The bottom of the window is it's wet. wet. Hmm. Maybe some rain got in when you opened the window earlier. Probably. No, the parts starting to dry are leaving stains. This didn't get wet just now. Then hmm. maybe it's the tears from the nail dolls. Hmm. <laughs> no more horror stuff. More dolls? Here too. And why are they right there underneath These the window? Two are lined up and nailed together. Hmm. Um, what's this? A yellow thread is attached to the nail in the doll. Hmm. On a closer look, it seems the thread left marks on the nail. Hmm. What could it mean? This is a this is gonna be like a very elaborate case. I can already tell. This is suspicious. You should remember this. Hmm. Okay, there are scuff marks on the nails driven into the dolls. Huh. Hmm. Let's see. Anything else in this room? Okay, what's here? What's up? Why are you saying in a wooden mm. box? I thought there might be a clue related to the case. It's covered in dust and there's no evidence it was moved. It's probably not relevant, right? Right, let's look somewhere else. Okay, I just gotta check. I just gotta check everything. Okay, that's it. Anything on the seat? Eh. Okay, we, we already looked at that. Okay, cool. Anything on the ceiling? Nope. Everything on the floor is good. Under the window, we looked. Okay, let's there look at the door. To check out, you know. Hmm. This is the only door in the room. The lock is broken. Mm hmm So somebody they busted the, the lock was open. locked from the inside when the body was discovered. Hmm. That must mean the peacekeepers broke the lock to get, to get inside. In. So the inner lock is the type where you turn a latch. Mm hmm I don't see any evidence of it being tampered with. Okay. There's a keyhole on the outside of the door, but it's filled up and rusted. Oh, so this you can't even do recently. that. It may have been like this way before the incident. Hmm. Hey, why is the keyhole plugged? So nobody could get in? They might have figured it was unnecessary. The inner lock is probably left over from when the room needed both locks. Hmm. Either way, it doesn't seem like we can open it with a duplicate key or anything. Mm -hmm. There's no gap when the door is closed. It'd be hard to tamper with it. Hmm. The only way to unlock this door is to turn the latch from inside. Huh. The door in the... Huh. Hmm. That should be enough. Maybe that's all the investigating I can do. You should do it for the investigation for now. Hmm. Yeah, I get it. Without a doubt, this murder crime scene is unsolvable right now. It's an impossible crime. The door hmm. was locked from the inside, and the only window had shutters that were also locked. Hmm. It's a locked room mystery. My mind is just going crazy because I'm trying to figure out who would do it <laughs> and how would they do it. What are you doing? Right. I'm taking in this luscious locked room atmosphere. Hmm. Anyway, let's leave before the peacekeepers come. They just cause more trouble for us. And it's making me, because like the last locked room thing we did in Dangarampa, like she did it to herself. But I'm assuming that this girl didn't do this to herself because she was, well, for one, she's nailed down. I don't know how she can do that to herself too. Her scratch marks, imp imp it, it indicates that she was struggling as that happened, so I don't know. Huh? Oh, right. Hmm. Hmm. All right, let's leave out of here. Let's go up there. Let's see. Speaking of which, what's this ladder over here? Should we take a look? Yeah, let's go. I want to see if somebody's able to come from there up there to down. To anything suspicious about? I think that kid said his dad was here to fix the clock. Hmm. Oh, so that's the clock. So if he came to fix the clock, that means the clock is broken, right? Was he about to head back home after fixing it? Or maybe he was just about to start fixing it. Probably hmm. doesn't matter either way. Nothing matters to me besides the locked room mystery. Of course, well, girl. I'll think about it later. Let's leave this place for now. No, I feel like we should think about it now. I feel like we should think about it now. Me personally, I still, I still want to go up there, but the game's not gonna let me. Okay, cause if my thing is like, if it was broken and he came to fix it, does that mean that the clock? Did he fix it already? Because if he fixed it already, then the clock time is right 
But if you didn't, then the clock time is wrong, and we've been all looking at the wrong times. Did you find something? Oh, what's the matter? What's up? Hmm. Find a body or something? Right, what's up? Over here. Okay, did you okay, you found a How dead body. Hmm. Over here. Okay, okay, baby. Like, come on. Let's see. What what's happening? Is the well, secret you entrance? Checking the clock tower? I took a look around the building. Okay. And I found these. What's that? Footprints. Oh, good job, baby. You need to be a detective. <laughs> Maybe these belong to the culprit. Hmm. What? The culprit? I'm not sure. Let's check. Mm -hmm. There are a set of footprints on the wet ground near the wall. Uh huh. But it's only the heel portion. The only thing I can discern is that they weren't sneakers. Hmm. They could be loafer, but the footprints seem strange. Hmm. Huh? What's strange about them? Look, the footprints are facing the wall. Okay. This looks like whoever made them was walking toward the wall. Is there a secret entrance in the wall? You're saying the guy disappeared through the wall? We're dealing with wall facing man now? <laughs> no. <laughs> First the mailman? It's a phantom party. Hmm. And right under that window. Hmm. Is this just a coincidence? Or does it have something to do with the murder? Is there a secret, like, compartment on the bricks? Uh, what do you think? Are these the footprints of the real culprit? It might be. Hmm. To be honest, there's not much I can say with just this. Hmm. At the very least. I hope I can prove the footprints aren't his father's. Right. Hey, what kind of shoes does your dad usually wear? Probably boots. Huh? His shoes? Yeah, it works. He usually wears sneakers. He was wearing them today. Okay, so that rules him out of this. Okay, does he cool. ever wear loafers? Hmm. Sometimes, but not usually. Okay, so that rules him out. If he didn't own a single pair of loafers, but I can't rule him out yet. I don't think that he would wear loafers to go like up on a tower and fix them. I would think like boots or something rugged, like Still, sneakers. No, I wouldn't want to waste the kid's discovery of these footprints. Hmm. Mm, in that case, I'll remember it for you. Thank you, Shinny. Let's do something useful. <laughs> All right. So, do you think you can find the real culprit? I will, baby. Yeah, I think. Maybe. I might need a little more time though. Mm -hmm. I see. Oh, it's okay, baby. Don't, don't worry. worry. I'll find a way. Right. Thank you. You're welcome. I know he's worried about his dad. If he really is innocent, I want to prove it. Mm -hmm. While I'm at it, maybe I should ask him more about his father. Yeah, what's his day to day? Um, did you notice anything different about your dad this morning? Oh, hmm. My dad went out late last night to work on the clock. So I didn't see him this morning. Okay. He was out since last night. So he stayed the night here? Hmm. That's his job. His hmm. job is to repair clocks? He doesn't just repair them. Hmm. He also sells them. Okay. He watches and wall clocks too. Okay, he got a little hustle. Oh, so he's a watchmaker. Wait, the peacekeeper report said his occupation was unknown. They didn't Maybe ask him it's probably. It's convenient for them if they intend to declare him as the culprit of the nailman murders. Mm-hmm. Oh. He's getting framed as the culprit. Mm -hmm. They made up their minds and dropped the investigation. Because they're not good at investigating. They don't care. They just want to go ahead and make up their own narrative. Does your dad also manage this clock tower? No. He only checks on that clock once a year. Hmm. But yesterday, he got an urgent request to fix it. Somebody asked him to come there to set him up. The hmm. clock wasn't keeping time, so he was called to repair it. Hmm. My dad is usually happy to repair any clock, but... He always grumbles about how much he hates the clock tower. Because somebody is he lurking there? Because he's afraid of heights. Oh. He's scared of even climbing up the clock tower. Hmm. But he bites the bullet and does his work without looking outside. Hmm. A fear of heights. He has a fear of heights and he wouldn't climb. He's afraid of climbing the clock tower right. and refrains from looking outside, so it sounds serious. Hmm. Master. You're improving so much thanks to my training. Girl, maybe if I was already this good. I'm pretending to think. Pretending to I'm think. Not Girl. Pretending. I'm serious here. Right. All right. So according to the watchmaker's son, his father is afraid of heights. Hmm. Oh, who's watching me? Hmm? I hear noise outside. Oh. You're talking. Maybe those guys woke up. Oh, maybe it's good we let's don't go through the front. Let, let's not go through the front because they're already the mad. Wake up. Be sure to pay you back for this. Oh, wait, wait, wait. 
that's something I need back there. That's something I need back there. Let me get that. There we go. Recall memories. Okay, this one is amethyst. All right, all right, all right. So let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh. So this fence is completely rusted. There's a lock on it and it doesn't seem like there's a way through. Why not just go grah and kick it down? <laughs> I definitely can't do that because I'm too weak. I'm too weak to do that. All right, let's keep going. Uh, oops, my bad. Let's go through here. Hmm. They're gonna see that I beat up their men. Well, not me, but night night beat up their men. Hmm. Oh, they're gonna be mad. Everyone, please wake up. Oh? This is Amaterasu Peacekeepers, Investigation Team, Section Chief, Seth Burrows. Hmm. Okay, hello, Seth Burrows. Hmm. I'm gonna call you Monocle. I just need nicknames for these people, because I'm not gonna remember. Monocle, that's what I'm gonna call him. Or Cyclops. Late. <laughs> Please wake up. This is Amaterasu Peacekeepers, Investigation Team, Section Chief, Seth Burroughs. So they're gonna just wake up just cause of his voice? Right, I didn't think so, they're folded. Well, what was he supposed to do? Hurry and wake up. Oh, now they wake up, okay, there we go. Everyone, listen closely. <laughs> He's like, get that thing away from me. It appears there are fools in town who do not comprehend the majesty Peacekeepers. Hmm. Many of them have been eliminated already. Oh, eliminated. I've heard some outsiders have recently arrived. Hmm. Stay there, baby. I don't want you to get hurt. Go find witnesses and extract information to see who has interfered with us. Uh oh. I hope nobody snitches on me. I hope they don't see me they and snitch on me. They may still be nearby. Capture anyone that even appears suspicious. Uh oh. Oh no. Well, they can't oh, say me wearing gosh. a hood is Did you suspicious. Clean up the body at the crime scene? If not, then hurry along with that. They sure didn't. It's still sitting there. The rain in the city makes bodies rot quickly. You better hurry or mm. it will putrefy. Ugh. They're bad. They're just bad at their job. They're bad at finding culprits. They're bad at Getting rid of to speed evidence. this they case suck. along, we need to quickly deal with that nail man we arrested. Oh no! Hmm. We should even consider a public execution. Oh, y'all are tripping! What? Oh no! We're not having that happen to you, Dad. Okay, we're gonna get him. An execution? What do we do? At this rate, my dad. That's not gonna happen, baby. So Don't worry. Doesn't care about the truth. Right. He just wants to wrap up this case as soon as possible. He just want to look powerful. This city, what they say becomes the truth. Mm -hmm. Please, please save my dad. Okay, baby, I will. Okay. The only way to save your dad is to catch the real culprit. Mm -hmm. I can do it. Leave it to me. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome, first, baby. We have to leave this area before they find us. Yes. I know a secret way out. Oh, do you? You can pass through here. To get back to a street in Gamma District. But does the Why culprit know about this too? Me. So I'll go a different direction. Okay. Are you sure you'll be okay alone? Right. Yes. I play around here often. Is your mom around? Like, where's your mom at? Um. Please help my dad. I will, baby. Yeah, just you wait. I'll bring some good news soon. Mm-hmm. All right, baby. Thank you for the help. Okay. Now let's go over there. Now because this is here. Does the culprit or the killer know about this way too? Because he could have gone this way to get in there. Maybe. Hmm. <laughs> Good to know. Hmm. I'm thankful for that little brat that you say. He's not a brat. He's just a little kid. He's a little cute kid too. A lot of dark sure stuff in this rich so city. To make promises? Yes. I'm not very confident, but... I can't ignore someone asking for help. Especially a cute little if kid. If no one else is willing to listen, then it's up to me. Mm -hmm. Wow, get a load of this big shot. Didn't expect that from you, Master. I mean, nobody else is gonna do it. How do you plan to find the real culprit? 
You can't investigate the clock tower with the peacekeepers around. Well, I already got what I needed. You can't use the mystery labyrinth yet. Not enough clues. You gotta talk to you people. You jump into the labyrinth now, you'll be lost forever. You need to gather more solution keys. Hmm. I don't ever want to go back there anyway. Right. And how do you intend on solving this? I gotta talk to people. There is one way. You're hmm. gonna rely on that one, huh? Always depending on someone else. Oh. And what was the spot again? Something about a cafe? Hmm. Oh. Go ask Night Night for help. Laura. Night Night, I need your help. Help me. Mm hmm. If Master is bowing to show respect, I guess I better keep saying. Girl, she can't even see you anyway. Please, for both our sakes. That's you bowing? <laughs> She's like, I knew you was gonna come running to me. <laughs> Thirty minutes later than expected. Uh. Okay, she said, take a seat. I wonder how much the uh, the WDO pays her ass. So, do you have the cash? <laughs> no, I don't, I don't girl. Have I'm broke. Any on me right now, but I will eventually. Hmm. Very well. I don't require you to have it immediately. But you will pay me five million five hundred thousand eight hundred yen eventually. Oh my God, oh, girl! But you said it was five million before. You add interest because I made you wait. It's an additional fee for making you wait, and for the coffee. I told you I don't work for cheap. I'm mad that I was correct. I didn't want to be. Okay, all right. Oh come on. Jesus so Christ. Ruthless. A greedy little money demon. I know. I don't call this one. <laughs> force your hand. Whatever you decide is up to you. I'll just be in debt, I guess. Oh, think it over. I'm going to order some cake. Are you going to add that to my bill as well? Do I have to <laughs> pay for that too? Right. Of course. I'll add it to the bill. That's what I thought. All right. I'll pay you all mm -hmm. 5.5 million and 800 yen. Got it? Right. Please don't add the cake. Please. It's a deal. Just you made a wise Just choice. cook at home. You got food at home. <laughs> I have no obligation to help others, but I work sincerely according to the payment I receive. Okay. That is my pride as a detective. So you only work for money. Okay, got it. I will be your eyes and limbs and help solve this crime with everything I have. Okay. However, know this. You must be the one to complete the boy's assignment. Okay. Uh, That's me? fine. You are the one who was asked to solve this case. All I will do is provide support. That's fine. You may be a trainee, but you are still a detective. Once you have taken a job, you must finish it. In other words, as of now, I have taken up a position as your assistant. Oh, you're the assistant really, to the intern. Lara? You'll be my assistant? Right. Of course. I'm here to assist for your case. Just rest assured in the cards you've been dealt. She could be my muscle. She could beat up the uh, right. peacemakers, peacekeepers, whatever their name is. Master has no memory and no guts. And now he has no money either. But you still like me, Talk so. About a threat. Oh, be quiet. Right. So what do we do now? To confirm, our target is the true culprit of the nail man killings, correct? Yes. The peacekeepers have decided that the boy's father is the nail man. And arrested him, hmm. but I refuse to accept that outcome. After we finish the investigation, we may find out the boy's father is actually the nail man. Hmm. If that's what you conclude, then I'll believe you, Halara. Mm -hmm. Believe. What a foolish line of reasoning. Oh, to believe in another is the shallowest concept one can uphold. She said, "Don't trust nothing." All people lie. All people change their minds. That's very true. As a detective, you must suspect all others. Even me. That's very true. Yep. A detective must doubt everything. Okay, so you might be the killer too, Miss Thing. Still. Because we couldn't I find you. I believe what you say, Halara. I trust my instincts on this. Now, the only thing that's getting me with that is that, yes, she's correct. Like, she has to also not be trusted. But the thing is, I was already kind of looking at her weird when she was... Because, first of all, she wasn't dead. She ended up not being the person that was dead. But she was already over there. And beat people up when I needed help. So why was she over there and not at the hotel with everybody else? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Out of the question. A detective must never overlook a mystery. Hmm. Any and all truths must be exposed. Okay. A detective must always prioritize solving a case. Hmm. Emotions must be discarded to reach a perfect solution through a perfect deduction. That's true. That's the WDOs. You're free to think of me as you hmm. wish. However, 
The truth must be found with your own eyes. I Otherwise, believe in that too. There is no point in continuing as a detective. Do you understand? I sure do. Yes. Mm -hmm. Continuing as a detective. Hmm. I still haven't found meaning in being a detective. What's Alara trying to make me see? I'm hmm. no good at this. We're gonna be we're gonna get good at it. Yourself might be incompatible with such a straight laced detective like this one. Maybe hmm. someone totally unmotivated would be better, like that guy sleeping under the key. I think he's motivated, I think that he just has other vices, you know. Vivia, I'm not sure if unmotivated is the right, right? He's word. just eccentric. Anyway, Master, I've been wondering is this Holara person a man or a woman? Oh, uh, now that you mention it, I have no idea. Oh, I ready, didn't know that was we'll the thing. The investigation. I won't allow time to be wasted. I mean, does the gender matter? <laughs> as long as we get the job done. Like, right. come on. You missed your chance to ask. But then again, I also don't really care. Hmm. You finished investigating the clock tower, didn't you? Now we will investigate the past mailman cases. Mm-hmm. The past ones? These are serial killings, aren't they? They're done more than oh, once. So you want to investigate the past murders as well? Yes. And through investigating each one, we can conclude if the boy's father is really the culprit or not. Hmm. Oh, but we don't know where the other crimes took place. Should we ask around? We gotta time? rely on gossip again. I already know. There are at least three additional crime scenes. Oh. A secret club in Kamasaki District. Hmm. A mansion in a high-end residential district. Hmm. And an art gallery in Gima District. And that's why they closed it up. Huh? When did you find that out? Hmm. You think I did nothing while waiting at the cafe? I mean, it kind of looked like it. You was waiting on me, so. I prepared by gathering intel in order to move the investigation along. Well, thank you. That's amazing. Hmm. With my logic. Anything is possible. Hmm. But before we head to past crime scenes, the Nailman urban legend requires more research. Mm -hmm. Let's visit the legend's main stage. Okay. The main stage? Oh, you mean the church? Uh huh. I have yet to pinpoint the church's location. We should ask someone to guide us there. Hmm. Then we should ask the chief. Oh, I totally forgot about him. Oh. He told me to gather everyone. Look, now. Oh, Laura, let's go back to the office for now. We're already way past the meeting. He's time. gonna be like, you took on a whole, like, quest without bringing him back. Very well. We can ask the chief to take us to the church. He's gonna be mad that we took on this case. He's gonna be mad. He said, what do I do? How could this happen? Hmm? What's the matter? Please help me. I don't know what to do. Uh, um, <laughs> you see, your luck is as bad as ever. Let's just see what she has to say. Hmm. Someone stole my purse. Oh, really? I tried to talk to the peacekeepers, but they wouldn't even hear me out. Could you please help me find the person who snatched my purse? Aww. Boy, those peacekeepers really are useless. What you gonna do? Are you gonna help her? Yeah, let's let's search. Yes. It's a no problem. Let me handle it. Really? Thank you so much. But we can't leave this to a mere trainee. You better follow my lead on this one. As self-centered as always. Could you tell me about the purse snatcher? What he looked like? Well, he was wearing a navy blue jacket, glasses, and white pants. Oh, and he also had on a white mask. Thank you very much. Got it. Thank you. Hmm. I'm counting on you. So he had a white mask on. Didn't we see a white mask somewhere? Huh? Let's uh, not that way. Uh, let's go this way. Let's see. Are Come you? On, master. You have no sense of direction. Oh, leave me alone. Okay. Hmm? He said, "Is that the purse snatcher? He had a white mask on, but he had white pants. No, that's not it. No, it's not. It's not. Mm -mm. No. No." It's not that dude, doesn't fit the description. All right, let's go over here. I think it's this one. I think it's that one. Hmm? A white mask. Definitely this person. Yep. Give her her shit back. You must be the purse snatcher. Said, damn, guess this is the end of the line. Why would you steal somebody's purse, brokey? Like, what are you doing? I didn't want to, but I had no choice. I got no money for food, no money for meat buns. I had to steal the purse and sell it. It's those damn peacekeepers fault. Hmm? The peacekeepers' fault? You damn right. They extort us every chance they get and call it a security right. tax. You know that gold tooth swank only cares about money. Hmm. Is that damn it? I won't let them catch me. Those peacekeepers will never get a hold of me. Oh, so you gonna run now? Oh wow, he's getting away. Hmm. You're not gonna chase him? So we got the bag back, didn't we? We did. He said we should hurry back to the client. Come on, that's it. Right when things are getting interesting. I mean, we did get. The objective, so 
He said, oh, is that my bag? You really got it back for me. Uh. Yes, but I'm afraid the culprit got away. So, oh, don't worry about that. I'm just happy to have my bag back. I really appreciate no. it. Right. She's like, I don't care about that man. Just give my shit back. <laughs> you look pretty gloomy for someone who's just pulled off a successful job. What's up? Is it because you're upset you let the criminal get away? Uh, if I had caught him, I'd just have to hand him over to the peacekeepers. There's no telling what would happen to him then. On. He'd get what he deserves. The detective letting the criminal go free is disgraceful. <laughs> yeah, but I just can't do it. Master, you're such a coward. <laughs> I mean, he has a good heart. I get it. I get it. All right. It's the peacekeepers. Oh. Uh-oh, they Stay already went to the sub. Oh, hmm. oh chief. And that peacekeeper from the clock tower. Why does he have flowers? Burrows. A high-ranking peacekeeper. Hmm. He's quite infamous for being sly and persistent. So he's annoying. Well, we sure got some heavy rain again, huh? <laughs> oh, the humidity makes my hair fuzzier than normal. Why does he have flowers I in his hand? Huh. huh? What, what did you say? I don't care more. <laughs> you sent your detectives to interfere with the mailman case, didn't you? Oh. We have witnesses. He's like, I didn't send him to do that. Now that you mention it, there was a case like that before. Hmm. Oh, wait, no, I don't know anything. He doesn't. <laughs> it's beautiful, isn't it? Yes. Huh? Created by Amaterasu Corp's research, this precious work of art is adapted to Kanai Ward's environment. All right. But unfortunately, once picked, it can only maintain its beauty for three hours when something okay. beautiful withers. It fills me with an inexplicable sorrow. What does that have to do with anything right now? I feel so s <laughs> It makes me want to sink a ship. Oh? Our I, ship? I don't follow. The nail man affair will be handled by the peacekeepers. You and your team will withdraw immediately. Bring I mean, he didn't really tag the semi. The peacekeepers will take custody of them. Oh no, you do won't. Hold on. I don't know what detectives you're talking about. Hmm. I don't know where any of them are. Hmm. I'll wait until this flower withers. You have three hours. Oh, wow. I'll not wait a second long. If you fail to meet my demands, hmm. you will suffer the same fate as this flower. You will execute him? Uh, fine, I get it. But can't you give me more time? Hmm. No? That's it? Oh, you just gonna walk away? That's it. Just that that amount of time. Got it. He's gone. Hmm. I'm sorry, Chief. Chief Yako, are you all right? Oh, hmm. Yuma and Halara too. Mm -hmm. Yeesh, this is bad. Uh, listen, the peacekeepers just came by. We saw. I know. We were watching from over there. Mm-hmm. Huh? You were watching? You couldn't at least help me out. I mean, they're looking for me. Hold so on. No. Are you two the detectives they were talking about? Technically me, yes. I'm sorry. It's a long story, but it was probably us. Yeah. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Sorry. Why? What's going on? I'm sorry. It's exactly as the peacekeeper said. We are currently pursuing the nailman case. Mm -hmm. We'd like to search around the church. I was about to ask you to take us there, but you seem rather busy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm real busy now, <laughs> thanks to you two. I'm sorry. You're gonna keep investigating? Not gonna help your chief out of a jam? I'm sorry. Look, we've got three hours before I'm taken away. Mm. If that happens, the last detective agency in town is done for. We're not gonna have that happen. Us over to the peacekeepers? Right. Who do you think you're talking to? I'm the chief. I'd rather turn myself in than ever sell anyone out. That's really respectable. Though, I wouldn't want to do that either. If I'm being honest. I know. Never mind. Forget what I just said. Mm hmm Man, he does not know when to stop. I know. What should we do, Halara? Hmm. There's only one person who'll be taken into custody. It's not the chief. Mm hmm Not us. It's the nail man. I like that energy. You will find the real culprit and turn the murderer over to the peacekeepers as originally planned. Mm -hmm. With enough evidence, they will have no room to reject the truth. There we but go. We only have three hours. We can do it. Three hours is more than enough. I will give my utmost effort as your assistant. Mm -hmm. With my logic, anything is possible. Let's go. Uh, I don't really get it, but it seems best to leave it to you two. Can you show us to the church? You said you wanted to go to the church? Yes. Let me mark it on the map. Thank you. Thank you so much. We're not going to let them take you. It's for the best that I don't tag along. Mm -hmm. We're seen together. 
this will get even more sticky. Yeah, you might as well just stay here. For good news. I'm counting on you. Okay, yes. sir. We're off. Three hours. You've got three hours to solve the case. I wonder if they're really gonna put me on a timer. I wonder. Seriously. I'm counting on you. We got There's you, Yaku. There's so much I need to do. Hmm. What picture is that that you're looking at? Family? Maybe? Alright y'all, so that is it for today's episode of Master Detective Archives Rain Code. Now this episode left me clueless because I don't have enough clues to figure out what happened there. I feel like I have to talk to more people, see more stuff, um, cause it's kinda impossible right now. I just know that it's probably not the father because he usually wears tennis shoes and he's afraid of heights. So I don't think that he would set up an elaborate thing to kill somebody at a clock tower doing all that when he's afraid of heights. Two, I'm very concerned about why Night Night was even over there in that area because she wasn't with the others at the hotel. So that's making me suspicious of her as well. So I wanna get down to the bottom of it and hopefully I can next episode. <laughs> so if you guys liked it, make sure to leave a like on it, subscribe to it if you haven't yet, and I'll be back with another episode of this and I'll see you guys later and this